What's up, everybody? How's it going? Dude, it has been more than a minute. Mm. We have a lot to catch up on. It's been like two weeks. Let's take a look. Let's minimize this. That's too bright. Go. Yo, what up, dude? Oh my. All right, hang on, hang on. We got it. Gotta turn this down a little bit. Oh, not that low. All right, who's in chat tonight? <sighs> oh my goodness, we got a Doctor Who Soju shot redemption. I um, I didn't buy any more soju, so I am still down for the count on the soju. <sighs> Let me turn this down. Hang on, hang on. I changed my entire lighting once again. So, uh, bear with me here. Mute that. We'll get up and running in like two seconds. Two seconds. Can you guys hear me okay? You're really gonna flex the lilac closet? Yo, all right, we got, we got, we got to, we got to catch up with these, with these, uh, oh wait, here, hang on one second. Face cam. I'm almost ready. I will, I will get to you guys in one freaking second. Let's see here. Properties. Properties. Figure. This was the problem. There we go. Okay, we should be we should be we should be Gucci now. All right. <sighs> Who do we got in chat? We got Quapa Ryan Strim, dude. It's been uh it's been two weeks now, I think, since my last stream, which is uh pretty uh pretty ridiculous in my opinion. Unacceptable. We got a level four hype train. All right, all right. I'll get I'll get to this quick. Zondat, need that jawline in my life. Ong, is that how you pronounce that? Ong. I finally fixed my lighting so this, it was like, dude, it was so bad before. I'm su I'm surprised. I look back on my old pictures. I think I think it's fixed now. I got I got lighting in my ceiling. Imagine that in this in this day and age, I have put lights in my ceiling. So we are um, we're not having to basically drag out. Um, you know what? I, I'll show you what I used to do. Well, all right. We'll get through the subscriptions and I'll, I'll show you guys the details of what has changed. We got Grim in here. Obviously, it's not Grim. What's up, buddy? And we got Koob. Let's go. The dynamic duo. You guys are trouble. We got, got Dr. Killswitch in here. Hey, yo. And Che with the tier one for two months. Oh my god, you guys are gonna make me uh, I feel like I'm doing like a, a school recital right now. Molly Molly with a tier one for 15 months. Molly 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 rocking everywhere. We got Big Beat Ken. Yo, glad to see you on. And also thanks for stopping by the SD Discord. Yo. So there is a um, there's a meetup in San Diego. What is that? In like two weeks or something? We'll have to we'll have to scope that out. What else we got? We got Kirsten here with a tier one for 22 months. That is, for those of you that are not aware, that is almost two years. Insane. We got Nora in here. Hello, Mr. Zathax. Hello, Nora. How's it going? Man is back. Holy. I, dude, it's been two weeks. Honestly, it feels like a year. It really does. I, I don't even know if I know how to stream anymore. God, Lilac Cosmic makes me nut every time I see it. Well then, should I put it away? What's up, DJ Speedy Cake with the tier one for 11 months? And we, oh my God, dude. Are you guys serious right now? We got Big Mo with the tier one for eight months. We back, baby. Yo, dude, I, I, I'm actually pretty happy to be back. I, I missed you guys. Um, I, I got super like, what's the word I'm looking for? Demotivated um, with my setup because I just, my lighting in my room is just atrocious. I had my only light in my entire room from the ceiling was coming from a fan. One single LED in the middle of my room. And I just, it was, it was terrible. I had to, if I showed you guys the different transformations from my setup, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. All right. Anyways, that's, that's enough of me ranting. You got Meezy does it with the 10 months. Let, let's do freaking Mike with the, with the Korean speech competition, making me look bad. Wanting on Ayo Zaddy. Light looks like ass. All right, bud. <laughs> pew pew laser with the tier one sup. And Juan, Juanina Millie. A Millie, a Millie. All right, let's get, let me plug this. If this, I swear, if this destroys my stream, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be lividity caps here in like two seconds. Okay. We'll bump, we'll turn up the bass here in a second. 
All right, who else we got? Oh my God, dude, it's never ending. El said before, five o'clock shadow, Ryan, so nice. What? Dude, I freaking showed you five minutes ago. You freaking serious? Adore my frags, what's up, buddy? JK lights look good, dude. I was gonna say, I'm gonna have to call this electrician back out here. Only fan lighting? Dude, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna assume that means, uh, what's up, my dude? <laughs> so right back at you. Uh, so, okay, I think I got through all of the subs. We, oh my God. We got five gifted tier one subs from Che. This is my chain. Let's go, bud, with the five gifted tier one subs, breaking through that level five freaking hype train. Che, what are you typing on? I must know. How's it going? I appreciate you. Thank you for the, that was a, a pleasant welcome brack. Welcome brack. Welcome back. $650 key cult arrives today. I'm ready to get fricked. What? A razor? Dude, is it, are they razor greens though? I'm sorry if I, um, you know, if I if I skipped over your message as I was going through my my homework uh, with the subscription readout, so if I missed you, you know, just just control C, control V, that much much obliged. Um, hey yo, someone said razor greens, dude. I'm telling you, I don't know if you're a true keyboarder unless you've typed on some razor greens. But uh, at any rate, so I got super demotivated uh, with streaming. Um, I mean, you know, for like a week or two. Um, just because I was like, I was basically in a fist fight with my lighting and, um, I was like, you know what? Screw this. Um, I'm just going to pony up, get some, um, recessed lighting installed. And I'll tell you what, it's very expensive, but I think it was worth it. So I got these like four lights, uh, in the corners of my ceiling now, and they're on like gimbals so I can actually point them. Uh, not like a track light, more just like they only tilt like 15 degrees. So, um, <laughs> I'll post some pictures in a bit. <laughs> but, um, needless to say, what I used to do, yo, Melanie the Savage, will stack so lit. Uh, on a scale of one to, uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. I don't even know where I was going with that, but I'll take it. Dude, I feel I feel so uh, I feel so happy. Everyone's out tonight. Let's go. I'll be seeing you at Keeb Life. Is Keeb Life the, the HRE one, or is that a different one? Yo, what's up, Lol Stacks? What's up, Sam Barbone? And we got Fear Irelia. Yes, I do fear Irelia. No, that's the one in Long Beach. The um, the meetup in Long Beach. Um, I actually do have um a little vacation planned uh, uh, during that time. Maybe I'll, I'll spill the beans to you guys in a bit here. But um, I think I'm actually gonna be gone for that one. Otherwise I would go. Um, choo choo. I appreciate you, Che. Thank you for uh, bringing up the caboose on that one with the five gifted tier one subs. And we got Busy Timmy with the prime. What's good, what's good, what's good? Dude, Busy Timmy, what are you typing on? And we got, whoa, whoa. Lowell's back? Yo, dude, maybe. I have been, uh, don't worry, I, even though I have not been streaming, I have been very productive. Um, a cheeky little vacay? Pretty much, dude. I think I'm, I think I'm about due again for a vacay. Um, but I have been, um, I got a new road bike, so I'm back into cycling. Um, uh, I've been going to the gym again, uh, LA Fitness at six o'clock. Don't recommend. Um, like, not only is there like a person on every single machine, but there's like people like me mugging you to get on the machine. So um, don't recommend that. Uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, what else have I been doing? <laughs> yeah, nope. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Shoho? Shoho in the house. Let's go, Shoho. Tiger TKL with browns on aluminum. Wow, this is a very detailed response. Look at that. Tiger TKL with browns on aluminum, 45A O-ring and GMK Dolch round five with Hongle. Nice, that is a pretty soft O-ring. <laughs> All right, I think I think we've just about caught up. Um, but yes, I have been, uh, I'll show you guys what I was doing before I got the lighting installed, right? So see how it's like, 
like evenly lit now, right? Across my, the top of my screen. I used to do this. Like I legit, I legit had a, uh, a like a light on a tripod, right? And I'd put this like right here, over there, and I would I would point it at the ceiling, and then the light would hit the ceiling and come down on my room. That's how dark my room was. It was like miserable. So, anyways, I uh, called the electrician, got some recessed lighting installed, and I've been quite happy with it. Um, it's like, it's pretty sick because I can actually, uh, let's see here. I can adjust it. Ooh, it actually kind of looks, is that better? No, that's too dark, right? That's too dark. What about here? That's good, right? That's a mood. Should we get serious tonight? All right, here we go. We'll go, maybe not 100. Maybe we'll go 90. 90 is good. We'll go 90%, 90%. Do you have a sexy time mode? <laughs> uh, let's let's not talk about that. I used to have I used to have a Philips Hue string uh, LED like what is it called string light uh, going across the entire top of my bed is behind the is this still there? No, it's not. Anyway, I used to have one there and I could, uh, you know, change the colors of that one and it lit up behind the bed. It definitely, um, definitely set the mood. But um, anyways, 6 p.m. gym is peak dudes doing curls in the squat rack hours. Bro, like, okay, you guys, you all know me pretty well, I would imagine at this point. I, 96, all right, I think we gotta go 96 because we'll, we'll pop that one up to 96. So there you go. We go uh, lights, 96. All right, cruising. I'm doing the um, the rope pull down, right? The one that's on the uh, pulleys. And if you guys know, it's like, it's one of those where it's like uh, a pulley, a pulley on this one, pulley on this one, it goes up and then there's like a pull up thing in the middle, right? It's just like big, like, you know, rectangle. And um, there's like, if you're doing the, the, the rope pull down for triceps, uh, you're like standing like basically in the middle of it like there's there's really no way someone could do pull-ups at the same time as you and uh, I, I don't really get mad easily, but I was doing the, the, the rope pull down and dude just starts doing pull-ups right next to me Like literally like about like basically like rubbing into me almost and uh, At that point I was like, you know what? I don't think I can come to the gym at 6 o'clock anymore because I just I don't want to deal with that It's 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 too close no more show mineral redemption dude i ended up chair streaming too much i'm sorry <laughs> i made it how are you today yo what's up zade i'm doing good i'm cruising i got a little refresher been pretty active um so uh ryan when you dropped the 10 nest your site was broken it was saying that shipping was not available so i missed it <laughs> so i um i'll be frank i i I, that was the first time I did a drop all by myself. Normally I tell K Thrizzy, hey, do a damn thing. And he drops it and, uh, and then it goes sold out. And uh, apparently what I did was I, uh, I didn't update the shipping weight because I replaced uh, an aluminum one with a, bra a brass one. And so uh, that was my fault because if you went to check out on the shipping, it, uh, it basically declined it said it wasn't available in your area so that was my fault <laughs> but there was like 10 nests it was like 2 a.m so <laughs> that didn't happen we'll just we'll just pretend like it didn't happen yo it's your boy uliano and we got yorin yorin i gotta know like is this how we pronounce your name i always i always say yorin but it could be you know like like jorin like george jorin like george georgian without the g I always say Gorin, but you know, flex the tricep pump. <laughs> you know what I do? You know what I used to do when I was like super, super Chad? I would, uh, when I actually did have triceps, mine are like pretty weak right now. Um, I've always been like, I've always had bigger tri, like my chest was always my weakest. Tri triceps, biceps, pretty good. 
Uh, my triceps for some reason are like abnormally big compared to like the rest of my arm. So I don't have to work it that much, but um, you'd like walk into a room and you like flex your tricep, you know, and you go like, oh, I was, I was out the, at the barn the other day and, and I got kicked by a horse and it left a dent in my arm. Do you see the dent right there? And that, that usually gets a, a good a good chuckle out of them or they just think you're an idiot. So uh, anyways, <laughs> Joran is closer and Geo is fine, but honestly, whatever you do is great. I'm not picky. What a, what a splendid answer. Same chest always the weakest and my arms always get big quick. Dude, yeah, I don't get it. Um, my legs are usually pretty good and my chest is just my absolute weakest. Back's good, arms are good, but my, like, by far, chest is the worst. But, uh, flex the tricep pump. Maybe if I do a, uh, a gym stream, I'll, I'll flex the tricep, triceps pump on that one. I'm just dummy thick in general. My cheeks clap when I walk. All right. You're probably one of those people that walk around with, uh, with ILS at the gym, aren't you? What time is skin routine discussion? Yo, what's up? Wait, I, is your name always been start caught on? I always read in my head as star. <laughs> um, not much has changed. I could go over it again. I dude, I noticed that I get the emails from the kit, uh, kit co. And um, I, 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 uh, I do notice a lot of you guys, I mean, I'm assuming most of it's you guys, uh, but um, I've been getting like a decent amount of views on my kit. So that's cool. I'm stoked that you guys um, like to check out uh, what I, what I enjoy. <laughs> it's Georgie. Georgia all the time. You'd maybe spend a couple of grand at least with that kit. Get the frick out of town, dude. Where uh, there's a Lelabo pop up in Denver. Yo, that's pretty sick. Wait, are there no, are there no Lelabo shops in Denver? No one has ever looked better on a Zoom call, <laughs> dude. Well, I told you guys the one time I did a Zoom call at home for work, and they were like, "Why is why is this so? This looks like a production." <laughs> I was like, I wasn't about to say keyboards, but. Um, anyways, uh, we do have uh, a pretty fun board I'm building tonight uh, by one of my, um, I would say one of my longest friends in the hobby. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Uh, we'll get to that in a quick second. Um, Ryan's kit rarely fails. The only issue I have is with the leaf. I must have even more sensitive skin because I had to ditch my leaf. Wow, really? I have tried it's for me it's like the least sensitive or it's it's the best for sensitive skin every other razor i get terrible razor burn it could also be maybe it could be your shaving cream um i have found that i i have to shower before i shave i have to otherwise i get um i get razor burn my face has to be like super like moist and 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 my my pores have to be open i have to shower um, so I have to shower and then, and then I go immediate to shave worse than the dollar shave club. Dude, that's the, that's the worst is when you, when you get razor burn from, from shaving. It's like, it's like, ah, I'm not breaking out. I just, and then you're like super self-conscious about it. And then like, you know, some, uh, a lot of time when I shave off the, I'll wear a collared shirt or like a tie and then that bugs it even more. So. Might be getting a gasket tomorrow. Pretty exciting. Yo, he's he's gotten most of the aluminum ones out, right? I think the Cerakote ones probably are. Uh, I I haven't heard of anyone getting Cerakote yet. Getting a Lelabo Santal 33 for myself this weekend. Yo, Santal 33, I think is the best one to start with. It's 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 a staple too. So even if you get more, I always have to have a Santal on hand. For my new job, my boss sent an intro company wide. Bile actually said, I'm into mechanical keyboards and lots of people will reply with pics of their keychrons and stuff. Very unexpected and wholesome. Dude, I have a story for you guys. <laughs> Bro, it was so awkward. Um, I, I went to um, one, of my, one of my friends who uh, I met through Sandy. Um, he asked us if we wanted to play tennis with him and his crew um, like two weeks ago. 
and um, I used to play tennis in high school. Yo, what's, bro? Speaking of Swolmeisters, uh, did you guys see that picture that Chong posted uh, with his with his flex? Yeah. If I'm if I'm on a machine and he walks up to me, he doesn't even gotta say anything. He just gotta flex, and I'm like, it's all you, buddy. I'm just walking away. You can have it. You can have it. I'm last, last, you know, you know, with, with him, it's not last set. I only got one more set. It's one more rep, one more rep and I'm done. Just hit him with the one more rep. <sighs> yeah, that's my phone wallpaper. <laughs> so, um, now I shower, uh, I shower before shaving and even been more particular with skin prep and the leaf has been the worst. Wow. Interesting. That's strange. Thinking to get about getting Mojave Ghost. Big Mo, let me show you something that might blow your mind. It definitely blew mine. Give me a sec. Okay, so while, while we're on the topic, um, I only have two additions to the skincare routine and they aren't even additions, they're more so um, uh, uh, replacements as well. But I highly recommend getting, if you are looking to get the Mojave Ghost, I would get the hair perfume. Yes, hair perfume. Uh, if you have not heard of it, it is exactly as it sounds. You literally just like spray it in your hair and dude, it lasts like all day and it's not super strong. It's, it's really nice. It's literally just like a spray. And it's a lot cheaper than getting the actual, uh, like a bottle. So I would check that out. Um, it's, it's, it's really nice. I would recommend it. So definitely if you haven't tried Mojave ghost, it's super, uh, super unique. I would recommend getting the hair perfume. Uh, but Rockwell do adjustable razor is practically good if you have sensitive skin. Interesting. Yo, what up, Just Terry? I'll have to check that out. And we got Kill Switch in the house. Uh, okay, I'll do that to be honest. Yeah, yeah, just get this. Um, like I have, um, Vitamin is pretty expensive. I want to say it might even be more expensive than uh, Le Labo. It's either as expensive or like slightly more expensive. Um, so. I would get the hair perfume. I think this thing's like, it's definitely way cheaper than getting the clone. So I'd get that. All right. And lastly, I do have These are the only additions I have. So I changed my uh, hair product uh, to Hans de Fuku Claymation. Um, I have noticed that this works better when my hair is longer than the um, than the Moroccan oil one. So my hair, I've been having my hair a little bit longer lately. So this one works better. It's a little bit thicker. Um, super high hold, matte finish. Uh, it's it's kind of pricey for how big the container is, but it does last for a while. So as far as that goes, that's the only update. Uh, and then for my skincare, um, like I said, I've tried everything like La Mer all the way to, you know, Target stuff, all the way to Korean products, to Aesop, to everything. And um, this one I actually really like. They sell it at, I believe this is also from a Korean company. Uh, I believe I believe the, the founders are Korean. Um, and uh, they sell this at Target. It's Naturium and um, it's fairly inexpensive. So I would check this one out. It's just a, uh, it's a serum, but I have found it works pretty well. So anything Naturium uh, is pretty good. Hans is legit. Yo, what's up, Michael? So that's really the only updates I have. Uh, if you're into their, into hair, I can confirm Hans is the way. Yo, what's up, Hannah? Yes, I, I love this stuff. I, I, I think I used this honestly when I was like 18 or something and I completely went full circle back to it. So, 
Old Plex shampoo and conditioner have been so good. Yo, yes, I just ran out of my Old Plex too. I gotta buy some more. <laughs> that stuff is solid with longer hair. Layright is the go-to for shorter hair. Dude, I got Layright over there too. Layright for me gets a little bit greasy sometimes. So, but, oh, okay. Last thing I'll show you guys because this, this to me was an absolute game changer. Like absolute game changer. Um, I don't think I'll ever stop using it. So one sec. I'll give you guys a little bit of uh, advice, and I say advice very lightly because I only recently found this out. <laughs> Yo, what's up, One Way Theory? <laughs> and we got Frostfire, Kaze so lit. Dude, I'll have to give you guys a typing test on this because um, this this is my favorite Kaze build to date. Um, and it's it's pretty damn simple, and it's, it, it's one of my favorite boards. I'm not being biased, although I probably, it's impossible not to be, right? Yo, what up, Brando? <laughs> um, yeah, we got new badges. Um, it's a little bit bright on screen right here, so I'll show you guys a better close-up picture. But um, the advice I wanted to say, and like I said, take it, take the word advice lightly, because um, I used to, <laughs> I used to use shampoo for my hair um, as well as my body. So I would use shampoo on my hair. I wouldn't have body wash. I was like, dude, that's like way too much work. I would use shampoo on my hair. I just, you know, clean everything with the shampoo. Um, and then I realized that they, certain body washes actually um, make my skin way better. So uh, I do tend to get like oily, uh, I get oily skin. And so like my back and my chest will get oily and um, my body reacts like super well to salicylic acid. And um, this one's also by Naturium. Um, dude, it's so cheap. Like this is a big ass bottle, right? And it's the Perfector Salicylic Acid Body Wash. I'm telling you like, this has made my, my skin on my, like my back and my chest like butter. Like it makes, it gets rid of all the bumps, any like clogged pores, stuff like that. Um, so if you, if you aren't using like a body wash specifically, I highly recommend it. Uh, don't use shampoo like I used to do. Um, he's buttered up, confirm. It's it's totally worth it. And this thing is cheap. I think this entire bot. I mean, look how big this bottle is. Lasts forever. I think it's like ten bucks or something. It's hundred percent recommended. And you get it at Target. There's no reason not to. Okay, that's my shill. Like I said, <laughs> I'm not uh, I'm not sponsored or anything by these. I just kind of get a little bit passionate. That's all. <laughs> so. Yo, body wash. Yo, what's up, Quacks? How's it going? Naturium or Dr. Jart for face products. I switch off. So I, they're, I, I, I usually will switch off. Like I use Dr. Jart, um, the cooling gel. I use that like, like 70% of the time. And then I'll use this one like 30% of the time. What I have found with my skin is that it's like, it, my skin like adapts in a bad way. Like, um, like it's almost like, <laughs> like, like my skin gets like antibodies against, but, but in a, in a, in a bad way. Like, like if I use too much benzoyl peroxide, it, it becomes less effective to, to acne. Or if I use too much salicylic acid, it stops becoming effective. So I like to change it up like every week or two or, or even every month. Um, so I, I like to switch it up because I found that my skin reacts really well if I, if I keep it guessing. So <laughs> let me get that. Yo, what's up, Justin? Speaking of your boy, Justin, got to get that boy out there. Dude, we have, um, how much time do we got left on the group buy for this thing? Shock the muscle. You got to shock the skin. Exactly. You got to keep the body guessing. It's the weirdest thing. Like if I take it's, it's basically a tolerance break for my skin. It really is. It's a tolerance break. 
Naturium or Dr. Jar yes, yes, there you go. Word. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Prince? June 14th. All right, so you guys have exactly till next Tuesday to get the play tray. Um, I mean, I do I really need to, like, sell it? I don't think I do. I, I probably just have to, like, you know, put it here and flick it a couple times, and it's it's pretty much... Uh, <laughs> Pretty much a no a no brainer on the cop. Yo, that TKL looks so lit. Yes, I'll uh I'll give you guys a quick, 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 quick rundown on this one. Um, so this one is a uh it's a lilac, uh Kaze, and uh, the color turned out super nice on this one. It's a little bit bright on my screen because of my uh, my new lighting, but uh, it bent it slaps. Oh, do we have a Justin? Could you hit us with a link? A link for that? Uh... Yeah, check that out, dude. The color match on it was perfect, too, like top to bottom. No, no issues there. What I have found with 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 Kaze and a lot of TKLs in particular, I'll explain in a second. Yo, what up, Mike? That color is nice, 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 nice. <laughs> Please spin the marble. There you go. Hopefully you can hear it. Uh, did you get on the Dama pad drop from Bolsa? I need to hit up um, Mr. Vincent for a, for a Dama pad. I, I posted on my story. I think it's sick. And for the price, crazy. On mobile, so quickie. Other vendors on the product page. There you go. So if you do want, all right, I'll show you real quick here. Obviously, I'm using it for its intended purpose. But I want to show you guys... Um, something that Justin told me, which I didn't even think about, um, which obviously makes sense, right? So we do have the play tray. Uh, you have the marble there. I'll show you this real quick. Engraving is super nice. I do have the prototype, right? So this is a prototype. Um, obviously says right there, right? Play tray. It's got a magnet in the middle. Uh, but what, what I thought was super cool about this thing was... Um, I would have it like this, right? And when I'm walking around my room, obviously I'm a freaking lead foot. Um, I, the marble would kind of make like, tick, 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 tick. like it would, it would actually make noise when I'm walking around because it would like Jurassic Park, you know? <laughs> and so Justin was like, oh, well, you know, if, if it's not in use, uh, you can actually put it in the middle cause there's a magnet there and it centers itself. Like, duh. <laughs> so now it doesn't make the clink clink noise. <laughs> so I don't know. I thought that was like, whether that was uh, thought of or not, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> so that's big brain. I know, right? <laughs> so now when I Jurassic Park all over my room, I don't, I don't hear the noise. So um, hot, yo. Uh, you can also stick it to the fridge. Wait, can I really? Because I'm going to try that. Oh, we got God Dream in here. What's up, nerd? All right, dude. Speaking of God Dream, I see that the wrist breaker is finally coming to fruition. Freaking sick. I don't know how long ago I built that thing. <laughs> Yo, what's up, David? Um, oh, yes. So, what I was going to show you guys um, real quick on the spudger here. So, um... With anodizing, if you are using a, uh, a manufacturer, even the super good manufacturers have trouble with this. And that is um, with the board, the, the larger the discrepancy on the, uh, to the top case and the bottom case, the harder of a time they have. And what I mean by that is if you notice how thin the top case is, right? The, on the Kaze, it's super thin and the bottom case is thick, right? So uh, if they put both of these into the bath, for the same amount of time, one's gonna come out darker than the other one, uh, just because it has more mass, right? It's gonna it's gonna attract more of the electrons, whatever science going on in there. So um, if you're using an experienced manufacturer, they can kind of gauge, you know, how much more to put in one of the other, right? Um, so this is kind of one of the issues you run into on a board that has a seam. <laughs> just do no seam, yo. <laughs> I appreciate seam and seamless. I do like seamless, um, but I do, there's only so much you can do with a seamless board, I feel like, as far as design goes. Um, uh, but uh, that this is something that our manufacturer completely nailed. Like there's no mismatch on that one, right? Pretty cool. 
And then uh, obviously you guys are pretty familiar with the bottom there. Let me, let me clean that up a bit. I'm gonna blind you guys with my light. Um, something that's different on this Kaze than the other ones. This is the first one I think I've shown you guys uh, that not only did we, um, all of the Kazes in the past, we had this polished. I need to clean this a little more. Hang on. So we had this polished and that's it. This one we actually had polished and then we had PVD coated. So this actually has a layer of PVD on it. It makes it, it makes it pop just a little bit more. So this one actually has that, uh, that PVD coating. Yo, what's up Krieger? Uh, do you have oh I do have another unit to compare yeah yeah I'll show you guys same with the badge or just the bot yes the badge was also PVD coated yeah let me show you the difference hang on I like shiny butts, yo. Any plans on running an NRD Alice layout? Dude, you know what's funny? I was I was just thinking to myself, by the way, I love these two next to each other, these two colors. Um, but uh, I noticed like, like a bunch of big designers came out with Alice style boards in the last like month. Um, I, I, dude, if I'm being 100% honest, I think it's gonna go uh, TKL, then 60%. Um, and then I don't know, honestly, I don't know. It's not going to be a full size. It's not going to be an Alice at least. So, um, let me just show you here the difference. So the bottom one is polished, but not PVD coated. Uh, and the top one is polished and then sent to PVD. So maybe you can see with the light there. Do you notice that? Let's see if I can kind of show you a little bit closer. I, I have a bad history of having boards next to each other. <laughs> Let's see if maybe you can see. Do you see how it just kind of pops a little bit more? How it's shinier? It's it's, it's so it's gonna be really hard to show you over the over the computer. So this is the polished. Do you notice how it's 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 shiny? There's good reflection, right? But then when we do this one, it like it like blings. You notice how it just it's just like it's more blingy, if I can say that. So super hard to explain. In person, it's pretty apparent, um, but both look fantastic. Oh, the other thing I didn't show you guys, but if you noticed on that one, the inside was still machined, right? Because what they do is they polish the outside of the weight and they left the inside raw. When they PVD something, the entire thing gets PVD. So if you guys saw the picture on my Instagram, you'll notice that the bottom is mirror polished PVD and then also the inside is mirror polished PVD. I think that's one of the biggest, um, attributes of PVDs you get them inside looks sick too even though you don't really see it so um, the PVD distortion but PVD looks great yeah so the other thing with PVD is you're actually adding a layer on top so it's not like a perfect mirror it's like slightly distorted yo Michael goes we poop 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 pee pee all right I'm sorry let me catch up on chat here I was, I was going on a tangent can I fax you my kidney to get the board? How are you gonna do that? All right. Um, okay. 
Any players on running? Yes, got that one. Rose gold so hot, right? Soft palette colors. Soft palette really looks nice on the Kaze for sure. 40% life? Yo. <laughs> PRB get a message support to change my Kaze to Lilac? Wow. Yo, what's up, Armani? Dude, purple Kaze looking spicy. Dude, I, I love it. So I actually have a pink, a pink badge on this one. It's a very pale pink badge. It's more, more, there you go. That's a better picture probably. But uh, I'll show you, where do I have? I have a PVD badge. So this is a, no, this one's not PVD. Where does the PVD one? Oh, so um, I do have something that I've been like sitting on. I just got, I just got the last piece in the mail. Um, so I'll show you guys real quick, but I want it to be a surprise. Um, I don't, Scott's not on, in my, in my stream tonight. So um, I don't think he's going to see this, but um, if, as you guys know, probably I'm pretty good friends with, uh, Scott from Slander. They're a DJ group and, um, he's actually, I was going to save it for Subathon, but I'm actually going to plan a separate stream outside of Subathon. Um, he's going to come over and we're going to build his Kaze on stream. And I've been pretty like tight lipped about it because I've been waiting for all of our custom pieces to come in. But I'll show you guys like real quick, real quick, because I'm gonna, I want him to see it in person on stream and just like freak out. So uh, I'll show you real quick. Show us some chat. Dude, I have like no hair. Get, look at it. These are my arms. I'm not a hairy person. <laughs> so this is, um, I, he said he likes black. He likes white. Uh, I think it was, uh, he was cool with. So I, I wanted to do a stormtrooper Kaze for him. Um, and uh, I'll show you guys real quick. And then we're gonna get into the build. Uh, let's do this up here. So, I I honestly, yo, Mr. Cupo. All right, I'll redeem that after the after the slander one. <laughs> there is an anti. It only it's for five minutes. Five minutes. Let me show you the slander one, and then we'll do an anti chair stream. Here you go. You ready? So we got NRD and that is the eye, that is the slander eye that they bring out to every show or all the big shows. Look at that. Oof. Oof. And then we have the black PVD badge there as well. All right, you guys ready for the best part? Check that out. So sick. It turned out like, honestly, I saw this and I was like, holy shit. Like, it turned out fantastic. Super nice. So Scott actually sent me over the files for the Slander logo uh, and for the eye. So pretty, pretty hyped on it. Um, I think he's honestly, <laughs> I think he's gonna freak out because um, he's he's using a KBD. Uh, he was using a KBD fans TKO. So this is gonna be his first proper uh, TKO, and I think he's gonna freak out. <laughs> so uh, that's all I'm gonna show for tonight. Um, next time you guys see this board, I'll have Scott on stream, 
he'll be soldering. It'll be his first board he's ever built in his life. So um, yeah, he's using the slip line right now, but he's never had a proper TKO, um, at least a high-end one. So um, I think uh, I think it's gonna be pretty sick, and I think he'll freak out. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Lightning with the rating with a party of 106? Oh my god, dude. Let's go, bud. Welcome, Raiders, right in time. I'm showing off the uh, the Slander Kaze, which I'm trying to keep under wraps here. <laughs> act normal, act normal. What'd you do tonight, uh, uh, Diego? <laughs> oh, dang, that pops, bro. Yo, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. We'll give you guys one more quick look here. Um, I was going to save this for Subathon, but, uh, I ended up getting, uh, all the parts in, uh, and I have Scott come on and just do a, uh, a traditional stream with me. We're going to build him his first, first, uh, Kaze, first, first proper TKL, first board he's ever built. And, uh, I think he's going to freak out with it. So there's the, the top there. Uh, we got the bottom. It's black PVD, black polished PVD. Got the logos there as well. Built the Jane with a plate from CBB that didn't pan out, but just rebuilt it with aluminum instead. Yo, what kind of plate was it? Yo, what's up, Mike? I figured you would like this. So we got the, uh, the definitely, this is like total stormtrooper in a sense that you got like the the matte, matte white kind of ish uh, shell, and then you have the shiny black pieces. <laughs> uh, Unwipe, but with mad flex cuts for testing purposes. Oh, that sounds like almost too flexy, huh? Yo, what up, Sinvec? So, anyways, um, I was just too excited. I had to show you guys, and, and this is the only black PVD badge I have on hand. So, had to had to bust out the the board, but um, I'm gonna try and fit. I know they're on tour again, they're doing a bunch of shows, so I'm gonna try and see what works with his schedule, but hopefully we will get this built uh, pretty soon here. So, anyways. Oh. Go back to the lilac one here. <laughs> Very nudge. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm stoked you guys dig it. I saw it and I was like, dude, like, I, I really want, I'm gonna, I'm definitely going to incorporate black PVT going forward. Yo, what's up, Visu? That lilac, yo. Dude, the lilac is, is uh, it definitely slaps in its own right for sure. How many Kazes do you have on hand? Dude, I just have the, the lilac. I got Scott's E white. And then I have a, uh, <laughs> I have a hodgepodge one because I wanted the, um, I wanted the PC bottom with the aluminum top. So the only other one I have here is the PC top with aluminum bottom. <laughs> I don't, I personally am not a huge fan of it, but it was like the remnants of another board that I wanted to put together. So, <laughs> uh, any gunmetal avail? I don't have any um, gunmetal here, sadly. Uh, and the pink one, yeah, and the pink one. It's on build right now. But uh, show the green. Uh, I can show you, but <laughs> you're forewarned. So this one uh, actually doesn't have the weight in it right now because I took it out. One second. I took the weight out to uh, to put in a different Kaze. But that's the green one. So there's no weight. <laughs> this is the, the green. And the, uh, the PC top, which I told you guys, not a huge fan of, but uh, it's just kind of the remnants of another one I had. But this will give you a good idea of, of the green one. What's funny is um, it, it actually matches, it matches my, uh, my wrist rest quite well. It's a little bit lighter, but we have a, a PC wrist rest and a PC board. <laughs> kind of funny. So, 
But yeah, this is kind of what the uh, the PC one would look like. Anyways, I love the green. I do love the green. Um, this is the green that we're gonna go with going forward. Um, no, no qualms about the green. So, all right, let's catch up here. I'd cop. <laughs> Does Teos still have your wooden kaze? If you have to ask, the answer is yes. <laughs> Plateless and weightless, exactly. Dude, this thing is so light without the weight, but it's like a, it's it's a insanely heavy with it. It's almost like it's a weight. <laughs> Green good. Yo, very clean. Nice, nice. Do you have a Mac one too? A Mac one. A Mac one. What's a Mac one, Justin? The green sort of looks like my green Austin. It's quite nice. Yeah, it's like a, it's, it's not quite dark enough to be like a British racing green. So it's a very nice green, I think. You hating? I'm waiting on a board with a PC bottom and a green top. Dude, did you see the picture I posted on, uh, on Instagram? Here, check this out. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can give you guys a link real quick. Uh, check out this gallery here. Hang on. I think this is probably what you were thinking of, huh? This is this is the board that I created, which resulted in these remnants. <laughs> that green is an insta cop. Dude, green's one of my favorite colors, for sure. Uh, what Pantone is the green, if I may ask? I don't know off the top of my head. I'll have to find it. <laughs> Controversial, but gnarly. <laughs> Scots and show Scotch and soda shirt, very pog. Yo, I recently found out about Scotch and soda, like less than a year ago, maybe. Um, I love their stuff. So, anyways, um, me like. The white one a little too close to the edge of the bed. Ooh, it kind of is, huh? It's like, uh, <laughs> where is it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, uh, it's getting there. Have you shown all your Kazes together? I, I don't think I've done, showed them all. Yeah, yeah, I've shown them at once before, I think. I, I, I swap them out recently. Like, I, there's, there's Kazes at Keith Rizzi's right, right now. Like, he's got the, um, he's got the denim blue one at his place. He's got the smoke PC one at his place. He's got a silver one over there as well. So we kind of swap them around, check them out. But, uh, all right, Coob, get the frick out of town. <laughs> GMK Lavender with the lilac would look insane. I think so. I didn't have any, uh, I think Frost Witch would look sick on it too. But, um, okay, last thing we're doing here and then we're getting to the build. Um, I'll give you guys the quick typing test. Um, and I, I owe you a five a five minute no chair stream. So um, let's see. I moved my microphone. Can you guys hear this okay? Is that is that loud enough, or do I need to move it again? Yo, what's up, Elvin? Um, these this is GM, GMK Shoko. GMK Shoko, one of my favorites. Sounds good. All right, we'll try it out. If it's quiet or it sounds like the microphone's too far away, I'm sorry. Uh, we can try, we can try and fix it, but, uh, try this out for size. Oh, all right, here we go.
Sorry, meant that. What's the build in that Kaze? Can you can you guess the build in this? Can you guess the build? Get a little bit closer to the microphone here. The enter on this, the enter and the space bar are by far my favorite. All right, let's let's go through let's go through and see if, if we have any winner 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 chicken dinners. Sounds like a PC plate. Inks on PC sounds like inks. Inks on aluminum. Lowell's promises year-long sub to winner. <laughs> wow. Uh, yo, what's up, Microdose Alpha? It's a JWK on a PC half plate. MX Blacks on aluminum. Popus on aluminum. Oil Kings. All right, how about this? How about this? First person to guess. Wait, let me let me make sure. Don't type yet. Don't type yet. Hang on. Do not type. Let me see if anyone's got it. I need to make sure no one's no one said it yet. Shit. Someone's already said it. Damn it. He isn't reading out my answer because I'm right. Telios on brass? Wow. Alright. I have a I have a gift. Only one person got it right. Sorry, two people got it right. I'm sorry though. I'm gonna give it to the first person. Uh, so, uh, let's see, who is it? All right, double day. I have a prize for you if you want it. All my giveaways usually are, um, if you're in the US, I got you on shipping. If you're outside the US, I ask you to cover it. Um, but I think that warrants. So we have Ultra Glides on PC. Let's see what we got you. I'll give you some Cherry TX short 62 gram springs. We'll hit you with the Novel Keys switch puller. And when you're like, oh, little stacks, what kind of giveaway is this? I hit you with my secret stash of Gat Giants. Um, don't know how many are in here. Decent amount for sure. But uh, these are pretty spicy. Damn, bro, those are some deep MX blacks. I know, right? <laughs> All right, uh, let me just make sure double day you do want this, right? Let me get, here, we'll hit you with two, two, two bags of springs. Thought you were a fan of MX blacks on, I thought you weren't a fan. I'll tell, I'll be honest with you guys. I was not a fan of MX blacks on, or MX cherry switches on PC until I built IU. I built IU with browns on PC and I was like, I kind of like this. And then I rebuilt Kaze with blacks on PC and it's like almost a better version of inks. Like it almost sounds like inks, it's that creamy. For sure, Raz had a choice to hit me up whatever or, dude, uh, DM me on Discord or on Twitch and I'll get this sent out to you. You got it, dude. He was even down to, to uh, go out on a limb and say spring swapped blacks on PC. That is very detailed. And, and you you earned it, for, uh, sir. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me put this. I do have, uh, don't worry, I got, I have another giveaway or two tonight. So I have a ton of stuff to give away. Um, some of the stuff is mine I'm giving away. Uh, a lot of the other stuff I'm also giving away um, is from viewers. So um, I, I, I cannot stress that enough that viewers are giving me stuff uh, to to pay it forward. So I'm stoked on that. Oh All right Cherry on PC goaded. Yes. Yo, what's up John with the tier one for 22 months. Let's go bud John, what are you typing on? Uh, did you hear my typing test? John is actually I believe the only other person that's built a cause um, with browns or, or cherry switches on PC Jinte shipped me a bag of Gat Giants and they never showed up. You sure those ain't it? 
You know, it's funny. Jinte recently... Oh, no, I don't think these are yours. I don't think so. Sheesh, my man's kitted. Yo, Meezy does it. Yes, sir, Browns on PC. Let's go, dude. I have a lot of TKLs and PC plates coming in. MX Blacks in all of them. Damn. <laughs> I'm messing. You know, I can't have this out on stream too much because then people like every five minutes tell me to spin it. And I'll just be spinning this the entire time and not building anything. Um, I'll show you real quick here. One sec. Oh, this is um, this is the final PC plate uh, for the for the Kaze, um, and this is what's in this board right now. So we made it V2CE compatible. Um, we are ordering a large shipment of these exact plates. So uh, there are other boards that this is compatible with. Um, so if you do have like a V2CE or any of the other ones, this will work. Um, and it's currently what's what's in my Kaze. So uh, ETA on those is still probably gonna be about, a, I think a month and a half, but uh, we'll have a decent amount of them, so. Very clean cuts on that plate. Yo, thank you. All right. Redeem for spin? I should, huh? Jaywick Black's pretty fire too. Jaywicks are. What's up, RX Chaser? Uh, Jaywicks are super good for the price. Looks hot. Should get one for my V2CE. You know where to find me. Uh, is the Kazi going to be Q2 or Q3? Uh, it's going to be Q3. Q3. As far as we know. The R's and Trey are coming by the end of the month, right? Yeah, so um, as of right now, uh, I just got an update from my um, my menu. And all of the nests that we, are, that we have ordered for this next drop, uh, the large drop, are done. Everything's done CNC. Everything's done Anno and E-Coat. Um, the only thing that's that they're finalizing right now is we got like, I think like 15 or 20% of them infilled. So uh, if you notice, just like this, this Shopify cap here, notice it's got the white infill. We got infill on the Kaze logo. It should be this clean. It really should be this clean. So I have I have high hopes for that. Uh, only about 15 or 20 percent of them got the infill, but that's all we're waiting on. After that's done, they're shipping on over. Yo, what's up, Mochin? Great. How's it going? Very, very nice. Oh, capo. All right, eight o'clock, my time. I'll get my chair back. Tungsten nest when? Yo, that would be pretty sick. Slide that PC right. Yo, what's up, Justin? How's it going? Um, are you gonna run different color material badges after the in stock gets fulfilled? Yes, yes we are. Yep. Dude, I feel like a child now, right now. <laughs> Speaking of Ness, what's the? I can't take this seriously. Sitting, <laughs> not sitting in the chair. Speaking of Ness, what's the status on the XXXXL Nest? Um, that one is uh, already paid for, so it's in manufacturing right now. Yep. I think that might might come before the Ness. I'm not sure. It's about a month out. This is the uh, hand engineering uh, acoustic pad. I can't with this note, dude, I can't either. I don't know why, I don't know why I thought this was a good idea to get rid of Minerals Redemption and do near, no chair stream. I honestly think I, at one point I like Googled like good Twitch redemptions and this was one of them. So I don't think, yeah, anyways. Um, okay, so uh, last thing I have to show you guys, we have the, um, let me pop these up real quick. I'm gonna do a separate stream on these. I just wanted to show you show you it up in per, up close and personal real quick. Um, these are, I believe, on Makibo already. Let me double check. Switches. Yes, they are. So these are the Gateron North Pole 
North Pole linear switches. Uh, these are on Mekibo right now. Let me see if my computer decides it wants to cooperate. Oh my God, that's bright. Let's see. Hey, hey, professional streamer. All right, so these are uh, the Gadron North Pole linear switches. Um, so they got a transparent stem, transparent top and bottom PC housing, right? So you got PC. So these to me, these to me seem like they would be pretty similar to Pinocos if I had to guess. And that's a good thing. So uh, they really do look, uh, I, I, you're saying, you're probably saying, but Ryan, this is just a clear switch. We've, we've seen this before but it's like optical clear. Like it's, it's kind of insane. It's very hard to explain, but in person, these are like, they're, they're, they're very, very pretty. Like they pop. Right? And so the other thing about these is I would venture to say, I would venture to say that these are factory loot. You know, you know, oil Kings are like, yo, what's up, gym leader, Nathan? What do you got plan? Ooh, I guess I got to take you out to dinner, huh? Dude. So, so I appreciate your freaking tier one for 22 months and I'm sorry for bailing on you, uh, climbing the other day. Um, what I want to say about these switches is if you notice, you guys know Oil Kings, right? Oil Kings um, kind of have, I think this is maybe, there we go. Um, so Oil Kings to me have, I don't know if the process is a little bit different, but however they are factory lubed, um, it's very good. Uh, it's, it's, it's almost passable to not lube them. Um, but I, I personally would still lube them, but I think you could get away with not lubing them. So the same way that the oil Kings are, are well lubed, um, same goes for these. Like they don't have, you know, you know, most factory lube switches that, that you can, they're smooth from the lube, but they still have that like very like high pitched tinny, like top out. These don't really have that. Um, so it, I'm, I'm actually going to be using these in a hot swap board. I think next stream. And we're gonna try them out with stock lube because uh, these are some of the best stock lube switches I've, I've heard. Like, listen, it doesn't have that high pitched, like plasticky sound. So I was actually gonna use these in the Zeus tonight, but I don't know if I have enough. I haven't even counted them yet. Catch base, yo, dude, they're super bassy, super bassy. Oh, okay. Can I have my freaking chair back? My knees are starting to hurt. I think I have like 30 seconds. Oh no, I'm suddenly getting convinced to get more switches. Dude, I'm telling myself this like every time. I'm like, all right, I don't need any more switches. I don't care what comes out. And then something like this will come out and I'll be like, all right, I'll try. Yo, what's up, Sly? All good, my body's wrecked from climbing, but let's definitely go in a couple weeks from now. Dude, I went climbing for the first time in months. Um, I went uh, last week. All right. Oh my God, I get the chair back. Oof. Oof. Um, I was not as bad as I was expecting. I retained a little bit, but I was still like very much like, you're a freaking sissy. I climbed for the first time two weeks ago. Yo, where'd you go? What's up, Estricos? Dude, I love climbing. I'll always love climbing. I've gone through switches, uh, but I keep reverting back to broken in MX Blacks. Pretty much my journey as well. T-Rex the whole time, yo. So uh, the Hangar 18, um, is that the orange? Hangar 18 orange? Yo, what's up, Karen? So anyways, um, I haven't typed on them yet, but I would venture to say that these are going to be pretty lit. They're super nice looking, right? Like a jewel. It's like a jewel. 
But Ryan, this is just a clear switch. We've seen all right, but yo, what's up, Kazo? Thought they were Aqua Kings when he first showed them on Instagram. Ooh, true, true. So that that climbing gym used to be called Factory, and that was actually the gym that I went to like three days a week, four hour sessions every time. Um, that's where I spent like all my free time at, at Factory. Um, and then COVID happened, they shut it down, and then they also got bought out by Hangar. So they sold the Hangar and they renamed it Hangar. Um, different employees and setters are working there now. I actually haven't been back since it turned into Hangar. Uh, but um, that's actually where uh, when it shut down, uh, I started streaming because I didn't have a, a climbing gym to go to anymore, which is kind of funny. So mod pipe. Oh, <laughs> what? I didn't even notice that. Wow. That didn't happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you see Planet Granite change his name too? Yeah, I think that was always like the parent company's name though. Yo, what up, Ethan? Let's go 10 months with the tier one. I appreciate you. Okay, so I do owe you guys a um, a drink. I owe you a drink. And um, I think we're at hour and 20. I think it's build stream time. All right. Let's 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 clear the decks here. We have a, um, we have quite, quite the intensive build tonight. Uh, as well as I have literally a box of stuff to give away like Box uh, I'm gonna try and sort it out between like different streams. I think tonight I'll be doing one or two more giveaways um, And uh, they're pretty good. I would say they're pretty good. I, I would say most of my giveaways are pretty solid Girlfriend guest appearance <laughs> Dude, it's like the most awkward thing because um uh, obviously I stream in my bedroom <laughs> and I'm like, all right, can't come in the bedroom for, uh, for four hours. I feel so selfish. So maybe one of these days I'll, uh, <laughs> I just need to get, I need to get an office, <laughs> but I do, I do need to get, um, some alcohol for the redemption. Halo stacks. What are your thoughts on the Ryujin TKL? Heard the GB price is about two grand. Yikes. Um, is that the GB price? I haven't typed on one, but uh, it does sound pretty spendy. <laughs> Quick giveaway for the East Coasters? I just did a freaking giveaway, Wantagon. You're freaking joking my ass. All right. I didn't even finish my coffee. <sighs> okay. Look at that. Stabs. Did I miss any new minerals? Dude, I haven't bought a mineral in so long. So long. I have so many. Is this board winkyless or winky? Maybe I should show the board first, huh? Uh, so the coaster, yes. So um, the coaster has been completely redesigned um, for the most part. Uh, I think it's gonna be just as sick though. So, um, I will show you, when I get the prototypes in, you guys know me, I'll show you on stream first. Um, but uh, this is actually a, oh, this is a, a, a polished PBD badge in here. I forgot I put it in there. But um, it has been redesigned. I think you'll like it, um, but that's kind of the only update I have right now. Koob, did you, uh, is the Zeus Winkyless or Winky? I haven't even looked. I heard today the one board with the dagger sword weight in the back by Axel Axolotl is like 4,500? Wait, what? It's 4,500 from the GB runner? I got my first ever W on the ogre. Yo, dude, honestly, okay. Um, Hey Thrizzy, out of all of the MX boards, okay, you guys know me. I literally build the board and I say, K through Z, you gotta type on this. You gotta type on this, you gotta type on this. So he literally types on like 80% of the boards that I build. Out of every board that he's owned and that he's typed on that I have built, o OGR is in his top three. I'll let that, I'll let that kind of sink in. Kind of crazy. I would I would say it's probably top five for me too.
Uh, yeah, should be the GB price 2,104. I suppose when I asked about it. Interesting. Uh, I made a uh, drink on mine right now, man. So nice. Yo, busy Timmy. Wait, did you ever tell me that it arrived? I don't think you did. Need a Kaze tray, please. Thank you. Yeah, so the, um, the, the tray and the coaster have both been redesigned. Um, the, the order has been submitted and then the prototypes are, um, are probably about to be start machining. So I think it's about a month out. That polish shining brighter than my future. Yo, what's up, bread? Call it a coaster, not a coaster. <laughs> I was trying to think of, a uh, um, like a, uh, a sly name for the coaster and the tray, but it's like, I, I don't want to get too snazzy with it, you know? Hold up, do the same badges work in the coaster and the Kaze? You bet your bottom dollar they do. Hello? It's dirty, but I'm sorry. So yeah, these, um, these badges, Uh, you can actually unscrew it and then plop it into the Kaze. So you'll be able to swap them out. So uh, we're going to be selling the, the Kazes, the coasters, and the badges. So you can, you know, basically buy a badge and it'll be multi-purpose, multi-use, right? I got a Honey TKL one recently. I think it's one of my favorite top mounts. Nice. Uh, my favorite build in the Honey TKL one was Pinocos on FR4 by far. Have you tried to friction fit the Kaze logo on the coaster so you don't see the bottom? So you don't see the Have you tried to friction fit the Kaze logo on the coaster so you don't see the bottom? You mean this portion here? <laughs> Toaster? <laughs> OGR is hot, really amped for it. Same for Zeus, the board does it all. It really does. I'd rock that on a chain. So, okay, the swappable badge feature is amazing. Well done. Yo, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I, it, I, I would be lying to you if I didn't currently have a file in Fusion that has a badge inside of an encasing that you screwed into um, that, I, that I am <laughs> going to make into a necklace. So um, don't call me a dork, but that is the goal. Mia Khalifa donated one dollar. I wonder who is behind that. I bet you if I check my telephone. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> you received one dollar from Pearl Boards. <laughs> What's up, Coob? Dude, oh my. I was wondering, dude, I, I was like wondering. I was like, I, I work. I spent so much time. I spent so block butter. T tier one for two months dude you're a freaking block of butter <laughs> blockbuster dude i miss going to blockbuster i just had freaking flux turned on on my computer and my whole screen has been freaking off the the wrong color the entire night and i was so bummed because i thought my i thought i tuned my lighting and uh and now i just turned it off and i realized it actually looks way better than i thought <laughs> so anyways mia is the number one kaze fan confirmed <laughs> Nothing Mia wouldn't do for a Kaze. Get the frick out of town. There's going to be a Kaze Kliss. <laughs> Yo. Kaze dog tag. We're going to have Kaze dog tags. We're going to have Kaze necklaces. Kaze rings. Kaze uh, freaking fedoras. You name it. We got it. Kaze fidget spinner. <laughs> this is the first time I ordered a keycap set just for one board. Yo, which one did you get? I like seeing the background square through the PC personally. I think it looks nice. Um... I will give you guys a huge hint. Um, the the uh, the coaster that I um, have redesigned actually has <laughs> my Dixie wrecked. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my my shot my shot now.
that was good. That was, I'm not, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah so, sometimes it, you just can't be mad about that. I ain't even mad about that. That was good. That was very good. That was good. At first I thought it had something to do with Dixie Mech. And then I realized after I said it. I, I, after streaming for two years, I've gotten pretty good at proofreading in my head, but I did not see that one coming. <laughs> Freaking A. <laughs> Those donos. We're, we got a bunch of DGens in chat tonight, apparently. But, um, you love how wholesome my stream is? Yeah, until this happens. <laughs> Yo, Bolsa Huncho. Huncho. You. Good evening, bro. You. Dude, whenever people DM me, I always say, like, you. But I have a feeling like most people don't know what that means and they think I'm saying, like, you. So if I ever, if you ever talk to me and I say, you, it's a good thing. <laughs> we were just talking about the, uh, the macro pad you had. Someone asked me if I copped it, the one I posted on my story. Uh, I, I want, I want one of those. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> Mr. Lowell's, have you heard the new designer? Is this, is this a trick question? I don't trust any of you anymore. Scruffy Marks with the Prime for 13 months. Let's go, bud. Um, but uh, what do we have tonight? The tale of the tape. We have Drunk Fruit, Melon Hard Seltzer. This is from H Mart. I think it'll be pretty spicy. And by spicy, I mean good. Don't you start conversations with, are you freaking joking my ass? <laughs> I'm not falling for that one, Jackie. Been here too long. Oh, Soju Shot got refunded, time to save up for no chair? Wait, what? <laughs> Melon flavor, anything is so good. I know, right? Someone said something and I was gonna I was gonna comment on it. What was it? You guys got me all freaking flustered here <laughs> Cheers bud Hmm The uh, this drink matches my socks Look at my socks they have they have little Rottweilers on them, and it says Party Pupper on it. <laughs> There's no easy way for me to show you my socks, so I'm not, just, you gotta, it's got a Rottweiler with a party hat on it. Just gotta kind of, just trust me on that one. Will's giving away free feet. All right, dude. Okay, all right. <sighs> what overhead cam do you use, good sir? And Sean Connery voice. Um, they're both Sony Alphas, so nothing too crazy, uh, but uh, definitely, definitely overkill for a uh, for a webcam. All right, I think I think we're caught up here. Was the Heine TKL with full or half FR4? Um, it was. That's a good question. I want to say it was half FR4. Yeah. Dear Apple, hire me. Yo, I used to work at Apple. Show those. How much would you sell feet pics for realistically? <laughs> Get the prick out of town. Why long time? Why long time? Yo, Draxian, dude, I, I, I miss streaming. I really do. Uh, two weeks was too, was too long. It was too long. So I'm glad you're all here tonight. Um, let's see what we're building. What did you do at Apple? I was just a, um, I was a specialist at Apple, at the Apple store. Um, I worked there during college. Uh, and uh, I was also like part of the business team as well. So I was able to wear like the black business polo. Yo, Cancer is 86 with the five gifted tier one subs. What a freaking pog. Let's go, bud. What are you typing on? Cheers to that. Cheers to freaking that. Uh, hi, Rai. <laughs> Ooh, you better be careful. <laughs> Too bad I didn't get one. Wow. Frog with Zaku's? 
Yo, damn, a frog with Zaku's. That's got to be pretty, pretty, pretty loud, boy, huh? What's up, Coob? Coob's here to keep me on track. All right, what do we got? So we have some. Ooh, speaking of which, if Mr. Vincent's still here, I got the Gadron Mochis, which uh, were from Bolsa. So let's check those out. Oh, there he is. Oh. Boom. So, uh, I... Uh, did my voice just crack like I was back in high school? <laughs> I picked... <laughs> I picked these switches um, because they will match the board quite nice. Right? I even got the red films on these bad boys. Right? So, these are Gat Recolors. Um, they are also pretty damn smooth and I believe they're sold out now but very inexpensive Noctua switches yo dude uh did you guys see did you guys see that Noctua graphics card that they came out with dude I wanted that thing that thing looks sick party foul <laughs> um uh Vincent what was the macro pad I'm sorry if you already answered this what was the macro the dom dama pad was that it shark week build yo Thick boy GPU. Yo, and we got Latum keys in here. Yes, sir. Is it sold out already? I, I didn't even know about it. I just saw you posted it and I was like, dude, I gotta repost this. This thing looks sick. They're still in stock on Bolsa? So, these are the switches. Let's double check here. I just wanna give you guys some some accurate some accurate information let's check it out i use firefox as my stream only browser that way i don't get into trouble uh no that's not it that's the one that's the one bolsa keyboards there it is oh that's the dama pad Dude, this thing is freaking sick. Oh, there's the green. Why'd you have to make a green one? Oh, oh green's out. Wait, are they all? Oh, wait. Oh, it is sold out. <laughs> you guys trolled me. Or were you talking about the... Um, are you guys talking about the switches? Oh, these are still in stock. Okay, dude. Oh my god, dude. 30 cents a switch? That's pretty freaking cheap. Like, I, what switch is even, like, close? To, it's, a, it's a KS3 recolor, right? So, uh, it's super smooth. But that's kind of insane. That is insane. Anyway. <laughs> so sad I was in meeting all out. Yo. <laughs> it dropped at 12 today. <laughs> The mochis were out for a while, but we found a small batch laying around, so we threw them back up this week. Dude, wow, what a coincidence that I'm building with them tonight. <laughs> that is so so cheap compared to the average JWK. I know, right? Ba I miss back when creams were the hot switch on the block. <laughs> Bro, I miss, um, were you around for the period where, um, where, where Jelly Key uh, and creams were all the rage. You guys remember people who were flipping the space bars for like 350 each? <laughs> they were like, if you guys ever played Diablo, did you ever play Diablo 2? I'm sorry if this is like way, way before your generation, but um, Diablo 2, there was a ring called the, uh, a Stone of Jordan. It was a Saj, as I always called it in my head. And they were used as currency. You could pay like five Sajs for something instead of like gold or whatever, right? And um, I, I felt I felt like back in the day, um, there was a period in time uh, in the keyboard community where Jelly Key space bars were like Sajs. <laughs> and like they were almost like, like a currency. But um, yes, the Koi Pond one, exactly. <laughs> I sold D2 items on eBay before they stopped you from doing that. Dude, I vividly remember, vividly remember my Christmas list. D2, I think it was D2items.com. 
for Christmas, I listed out all of the items I wanted, like the Wind Force, Enigma, like all of them. That's how into Diablo 2 I was. That board is amazing. Yo, what's up, Lil Bonaparte? <laughs> How's it going? Are you back? Wait, what's today? No, you're still in town. I was duping Sages for lols. Yo, <laughs> what's up, Quacks? <laughs> I want to get some normal creams again. Nowadays, cream housings are a rare delicacy on the market. So speaking of that, um, if you saw the Stormtrooper Kaze that we're building for Scott from Slander, um, we are I'm actually desoldering his KBD-8X that has cre stock creams in it. So I'm going to be, I'm going to desolder that. I'm going to give the creams to get lubed. These are going to be like insanely smooth, I think, because he mashes on his board all day long. Uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna build the Kaze with the creams. Um, I think it'll be pretty sick. Dude, you remember when they used to smell like fish? <laughs> and like you used to open the bag and you're like, Ugh. it was terrible. Hey Lils, do you have a price for the Kaze? Yes, um, it, it should be on Makibo, I think still, if you go to makibo.com. It depended on uh, what weights and stuff you chose. Yo, Shinbun is crisp charging. At RNG. Wait. What? <laughs> Justin, you're, you're you're talking zoomer zoomer talk there. L explain what you just said. My latest creams batch were smoother than hyperglides. They're actually quite nice. Damn. Me holding on to the 200 pre-tool creams. Wow, what a hoarder. Can I get a Kaze for five burrs? What's a freaking burr? <laughs> they do. They still do stink a bit. All right, dude, stop talking about your pits like that. Just wear some deodorant. They don't smell like that anymore. I think they got a lot better. I, I remember people like would actually say they wanted the, the smelly ones because they were the older ones <laughs> at one point. Mine still do because I haven't used them. Dude, you gotta you gotta make sure if you got those old creams, you, need, you gotta vacuum seal those things. The, the smellier they are, the more money they're gonna be worth. Don't open the bag. Had to grab some of those switches at that price. Good look. Yo, nice. Hopefully, um, after we build with them tonight, you guys will be even more convinced. I mean, what? You can you can build an entire 60 with $18 of switches. That's kind of ridiculous. Okay, boomer. RNG equals luck, short for random jumper generator. I got that one. What's what is Shinbun is crisp charging random number generator. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> this guy played D2 and doesn't know a bird. Oh, bird rune. Okay, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about like, like Gucci, bird. I got you. Yes, the bird, the, 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 what is it? The Vex rune. I, I know what you're talking about. I got you. We're on the same wavelength now. Opus bag of old creams reminds me of her. Wow. <laughs> Where's some salt and some bergamot and it gets rid of- Yo, park. Freaking sick. Did you build your frog yet? You're giving away a, a set of nice PBT shin bun. That I am. I love chatting, don't get me wrong, but are we building something? Whoa! What? Didn't work. We're building friendship. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Time him out. Oh, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. I'll do it. I'll freaking do it. What's this guy's deal? <laughs> uh, I will just buy new creams, keep them in a bag with spoiled raw. Okay, dude. What a freaking scammer. Skimaz. Everyone report Justin to the mech market police. <laughs> okay. Slowly but surely we'll get there. Are Bonita fish big? What? Bonita fish. Is that a type of fish? What are we doing today? Um, we're having a catching up stream with a side of keyboard building. All right. So, 
like uh, my stream eluded to, we are building nice PB. We are building a board with nice PBT shin bun. Bonita cream fish. Uh, you're doing me a confused. This looks like a single malt from Japan. Yo, dude, this packaging is sick. Okay, I gotta tell you guys. The, the packaging that, that nice PBT has been doing is fire. Like, I, I really like this packaging. So check this out, right? I thought this said Heidi Lau for a second. <laughs> I wish this said Heidi Lau. Cannon Keys, HH Dilo. <laughs> We'll just say Kanekis X Heidi Lau. And then on the bottom here, long lasting keycaps. Attack on Titan. All right, uh, what else we got? We have the raw uh, colors, I'm assuming, um, and then um, a bunch of other stuff, right? So um, I wanna show you guys kind of how cool Heidi H H Dilo made GMK Foundation and the recent GMK Zemo. Oh, nice. Okay, okay, okay. I'm hungry now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Same. Man, I went to Heidi Lau the other day. Uh, thanks for the invite, dude. Appreciate it. This hotel Wi-Fi is so bad I have to watch you in 360. Yikes. <laughs> I'm here for a seven-hour stream. No, 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 no. Maybe if it was Friday. Maybe if it was Friday. I think your Twitch got, chat got my expectations way too high. <laughs> wow. I, I, I cannot, um, you know, I, I don't have control over my chat, although, although it does seem that way. They kind of have a mind of their own. So, um, thoughts on NK Creams versus Black Ink V2. Chat, welcome to reply to. No, do not, do not involve chat in that. I am, I am the, um, I am the uh, over overarching. Is it over? Is it overarching or overarching? Over overarching. I am. I have the overarching opinion on that one. Black Kings. Friday is in a couple of hours. <laughs> Damn, this Kaze is nice. I would have jumped all over this. Which which one? The the, the lilac one. <laughs> all right. So I wanted to show you guys. So we had we have Shin Bun here. We have, uh, we have sweater weather, but this one, yeah, this one's nice PBT also. I have sweater weather, a key set for snuggles and knits and giant cups of tea, right? Packaging, pretty sick, pretty sick, right? But wait, there's more. This one's pretty sick too. Uh, PBT Earl Grey Lavender. So this is like Canon, Canon Keys, Canon, Canon Caps, I believe. Um, I personally like this a little bit more because it, it opens like, uh, you know, like that. It's pronounced Shinbun, meaning news. All right, Shinbun. Yeah, these ones are the cannon caps. And then lastly, we have uh, PPT Moon. Right? So I'll show you guys kind of these sets as well as give away some um, probably next stream, right? I'm gonna be giving away probably at least two of these. Um, I'm giving away these tonight. So keep that in mind. Oh! All right, Shinbun. I still think there should be like one of those, like uh, the two dots above this, like Stussy, so I don't get confused. Dang, this guy keep robbed Cannon Keys Warehouse. Krieger, don't act like you didn't help me. We do be riding. I like the design for the boxes. Yeah, so check it out, right? So these these are the caps. Dude, look at this color coordination. Come on. I tried pretty hard with this. We got the mochis. Got the munchies. Feeling kind of funny. And then we got the caps. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Check it out. Right, so these are the caps we're using tonight. Dude, ooh, I hadn't even seen these ones yet. Yo, these black with the red are clean. Look at that.
That's actually super clean. Wow. Nice texture too. Whoa. Check that out. That's pretty nice. All right. Cool. So we do have a pretty color coordinated build tonight. And these um, these kits are very well um, stacked, right? So they do come with obviously full numpad. You get space bars as well as a bunch of different compatibility. So um, pretty pretty damn good deal for what are they normally like ninety bucks or something like that, depending on the kit. Are these trays or old GMK trays nicer in your opinion? So. I absolutely love the old GMK trays. Uh, is this on PBT? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, Die Sub is getting so good, right? So, um, <laughs> check this out. Oh. So, I do have a, um, a set of old GMK to kind of show you guys. Um, the plastic on the old GMK, dude, this shit is like freaking nice. Like, like... That's how, like, look at this. This is like very, very sturdy, right? If you were to do that with these, I mean like, right? So as far as like sturdiness and quality of the plastic, like GMK absolutely destroys it, right? But my biggest complaint with these are these damn white tabs. I don't know what it was, but back in the day, every time I opened it, I could never get it back in the hole it always like sprawled out and I could never, I could never get it perfect. And then I ended up having like, like two or three that are like too, too big to go back in the hole. And then when I try and put it in here, it would always, it would always hit like this. You see that? It would always hit like that. And, 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 you know, rustle my jimmies a little bit. So, um, if there was like a better contraption for sealing these two, this is like the absolute goat. Do I miss the plastic? Yes. Do I miss these little white tabs? No. Uh, cool thing about these trays is they actually put, if you look pretty closely here, each cap has its own well. And it actually says what the cap is underneath. See how it says E? That's kind of cool. That's cool. Right? So if I go like this, they don't overlap on each other. If I had a cause uh, a GMK tray and I went like this, they'd be all over the place. Right? So I do like that. All right. So those are the caps. Those are the switches. gracious is that a keycap puller under the space bar and it comes with a keycap puller indeed god led zep is old dude check this out what is that march 20th 2018 kind of crazy this is this set was actually ran before a lot of you were born. That's how old this thing is. The key company. <laughs> All right. The new PBT fans trays are really nice IMO and the cap quality is good too. What a wholesome comment. How are the Justin fans trays? Are they pretty good as well? Wild reminder of how long I've been around. I know, right? Okay. Look at this, freaking sick. Oh my God, it completely changed the uh, the hue of my camera though. <laughs> All right, I'll have to pop this open real quick just to get it back to normal there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, I wanna show you this though. Dude, this box is freaking sick. L let's, let's, let's all just take this in real quick. Dude, oh my God, it's changing my white balance. Stop that. <laughs> I've never had to do that before. How do I? Okay, well, real quick. Zeus. 
Pearl diamond. Whew. Another diamond. Pearl boards. Okay, there we go. Very nice box. Good box. The white is not balanced. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go use the um, the little boys' room real quick. And I'll be right back. Also having a bit of a freak out here too <laughs> i think because the box is so so tall i mean dude this box is freaking huge look at this thing i think the box is too tall <laughs> so it's too close to my camera so it's freaking it out uh gold foiling on the micro okay so i'm gonna i'm just gonna take this out i'm gonna put this over here so it doesn't freak the camera out just put it right there thick real thick and juicy All right, let's start with the microfiber. So this is a pretty pretty intensive unboxing, so strap on your uh, seat belts there. We do have a gold foil microfiber towel, cloth. Pretty sick. I feel like I, there was one other board that had a similar um, sheen on the, uh, on the cloth. Very nice, All right? Pretty standard otherwise, good thickness, quite nice right so put that over here and let's take a look so we do have <laughs> Zeus sending lightning bolts to the camera hey stop that freaking stop that um, so we do have two PCBs here tonight um, and they are quite different right so um, one PCB is going to be wired right so this is traditional wired PCB it does come in this very nice pearl boards packaging I always like uh, when uh, designers include their own packaging for PCBs the anti-static ones are pretty cool but uh, this is a nice 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 little touch right um, I'll go over the Bluetooth PCB since they are similar the Bluetooth just has a little bit more going on right so this is the wired one and uh, I'm sure you guys are gonna ask what this is. If you if you saw the Pearl board, you'll you'll remember what that is. And no, that's not a speaker, right? So I'll I'll go to in depth on the PCB in a second here. Uh, in a second on the uh, on the Bluetooth one. Oh, what else we got? <laughs> Yo, what's up, Tuba Joe? We do have some 10U enjoyers here. Apparently we have, um, I don't know if he sent me this because he thinks I'm a boomer or if every Zeus board is gonna come with a pencil, but um, I have been very tempted to use this at work um, prior to stream, but I didn't want it to be like, you know, disappear. So we do have a Pearl Boards pencil. <laughs> very nice, very good, I like it. High quality, definitely, definitely uh, Ticonderoga Eagle status, I would say, you know, very good. Are you, uh, do, I don't have a 10U, do I? It's, if it's not a Ticonderoga, I'm not using it. 
Bro, it's the worst when you forget a pencil and you go ask the teacher and she only has like the crap ones. Honestly, add a pencil sharpener in the side of the Zeus too. I, I I think we should probably demand that, right? I think I think if we if we if we kind of like this like declare a mutiny unless unless uh, Koob adds a pencil sharpener on the side, you know, uh, we might not build tonight. Fingerprint sensor is that for wireless? It is not even more interesting than wireless. All right, what else we got here? Uh, we do have. Let's take a look. Foam. So we have um, plate foam, right? So you guys have seen this before. This is gonna go in between the uh, plate and the PCB, right? Usually I will forego this. Um, if Coop thinks it's necessary or, 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 or he designed around it, then uh, we will use it. But usually I, I skip this. Um, and we also have a, a case foam, right? So this is actually gonna go in the bottom of the case. That's some thick foam, yo, right? What's the point of Bluetooth if no pencil sharpener? I know. Like, come on, dude. I thought this was supposed to be a uh, state-of-the-art keyboard. Um, all right, so that was the packaging. I dig it. Very nice, very nice indeed. Even, it even has the air escape there. <laughs> nice touch. What material is that foam? Doesn't look like it's pour on. This is like that. Dude, the best way I can describe this foam, dude, it smells so good. It's it's basically just like the EVA foam. It's like the, the foam mats at like a playhouse, you know? It's got that very good EVA smell. Um, all right, what else we got? Plates, each one individually wrapped. Ooh. So I originally, dude, look at this thing. It's like so clear you can barely see it. I originally thought that this was acrylic, but apparently, I, I think, Coop, this is a, it's a Minecraft sponge foam. All right, bud. Coop, you better be drinking with me. You said this was clear polycarbonate, right? This is not acrylic? Dude, it looks like acrylic. Or is it just that clear? Yo, Subway Pigeon redeemed a shot. Dude, now I got to chug this. All right, when I finish this one, you need to remind me to get another drink. All right, so we do have polycarbonate. Very well done plate. Switch holes look nice. No complaints there. Other than if it was on my carpet, I probably couldn't see it. All right. What else we got? Uh, looks like FR4. If I'm not mistaken. Yep, FR4 plate. So we have a polycarbonate and an FR4. Got the little uh, little shine bright like a diamond right there. Um, if you guys take a look at this plate, there are a ton, a ton of flex cuts. So let's kind of go over that real quick. Um, you have flex cuts above the alphas, um, but Kube actually does something that I don't think I've seen before. And that is he connects this, um, the vertical and horizontal in this corner right here. So if you take a look, that actually kind of comes out. Interesting. So that's connected. Uh, he also adds some flex cuts on the left of the alphas. I don't know if I've seen that before either. Pretty cool. Um, and then you have flex cuts um, between the uh, rows of alphas as well. Um, flex cuts between the uh, F row and um, interesting. I don't know. Is there a function other than flex uh, for these cuts, or is this is this purely uh, for flexiness as well? I've never seen this this sort of flex cut before. Can you guys see that? Do you have a playlist that you listen to during stream or not? Nah? I wish I did. It's actually just the uh, lo-fi playlist. Ryan on his knees smelling playmat foam at the bounce house. Yo, broken myth with a typing, keyboard typing test redemption as well. I, I told myself in the new year that I would be better at redemptions. So I'm gonna bang that out real quick. Real quick, real quick. Oof, 
I will hit you guys with a harbor typing test. So this is the harbor. I ran a little bit ago by Kibu. Built with a, it's oh, uh, gasket mounted, aluminum plates with Gateron CJs. We also have Moto Light on here with the Easter Kibi, which I thought um, went along, went quite nice with it. Oh, this thing's heavy. Okay, here we go. Here is your random keyboard typing test. Here we are. DJ, pause the music. And here we go. Got to get the gangster lean with my typing test to make it proper. All right, here we go. Pretty spicy. I like this board a lot. I, I know when I built it, I said how much I liked it and that has not changed. So hopefully it sounds as good for you guys uh, as it does for me. Um, that is the Kibu Harbor. Yo, Nora, later. Show you that side profile one more time there. Super nice. And I did say that this is a board that to me looks way better in person than it does online. I wasn't sure how I felt about the side profile online. I'll be honest with you. Um, and then once I got it in person, I was like, okay, it works. Done. Very nice. Right? All right. There you go. Oh, back to business. Last time I had an FR4 plate with sections that thin, it snapped when I pushed too hard. Justin, maybe you're just too strong. I want Harbor. Give me Harbor. Moles, do you feel old? I feel old. <laughs> what? I, I'm like torn. I'm torn. I, I feel old, but then also a lot of times I still feel young. I kind of just feel like I was born in the wrong generation, to be honest. I, uh, I feel like I relate more with, with the older generation. <laughs> Freaking kids these days, man. Good night, man. <laughs> That, uh, that was the FNF special colorway, right? Yeah, that was the uh, lilac one. Or no, it was like lilac gray, I think it was. Love the play tray. Yo, what's up, Wencan? Yay! Same. All right, back to it. So, we do have these two plates. Um, I think, I think tonight we're gonna build with the FR4. I think we're gonna go FR4 tonight. This thing is pretty damn beautiful though, right? All right, maybe, maybe uh, John, if you could be so kind, um, can we hit chat with a foam vote to use this or not? Uh, if it's up to me, I won't use it, but maybe maybe chat would like to, to hear it with the foam. I appreciate you, John. I ordered the same color tray. It's beautiful. Can't wait. Oof. Dude, this this looks insane. It does look insane. Uh, I've been here for a while and I'm still confused. Did the Kaze ever go on sale? <laughs> Dude, you are, you're not alone. I, I constantly do get DMs from people asking me um, if, if there's going to be a round two or that they missed round one. Uh, but um, I always like to say good news. Uh, round one hasn't happened yet. So uh, round one is, is, is slated to deliver to Makibo Q3. I think we're about, um, last I was told, all of the, uh, almost all the aluminum Kazes uh, that we ordered are, are done. 
So they are working on the PC ones um, and a couple of the other aluminum ones. So it's getting there. It's, de it's definitely getting there. Um, and uh, those are going to be in stock on Makibo. So um, they definitely um, have not been uh, released to the public yet. So that's the good news. All right. Back to it. So we do have, and I wanted to, I wanted to ask Kub this question as well. So um, <laughs> you know what's funny is these these are so nice. These turned out so good that I actually asked Kub who he used for his um, for his feet. Um, take a look at this. Look how look how clean that is. Super nice. Right? So we do have two feet here. Um, we'll put these on afterwards. Um, Coop, we do have 3M on this, right? So I'm assuming that uh, once we stick these suckers on over the screws um, to take the board apart again, we're gonna have to peel it off, right? I had CNC molds made so they can inject them. Yo, well, it definitely paid off. I see a cause in my future. Yo, let's go. I was about to say, I didn't know there was PC ones, but forgot there's smoke PC. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I came into stream two hours late, still haven't started the build just in time. You know, I, I don't think a stream has gone by without someone saying that. So thank you for, for keeping the ball rolling. Yeah, that's what you do, Ryan. Not bad at all. Got it. Cool. Adhesive feet hiding screw holes. Yes, that is that is the, indeed the case. All right. So I would do this unboxing on stream, but the box is just way too damn big. But it's actually layered. So it's layered by all this EVA foam, which is pretty cool. And oh my God, it smells so good. All right. Here is the... Uh, the brains of the build tonight. Uh, there is a lot going on with this PCB. So um, if I miss anything, which I'm sure I will, uh, Koob can help help chime in here. But um, let's let's start going over straws and pencil out of context keyboard straws. Where's the freaking straw? I don't see a straw. Are you talking about these? Are these your straws, popcorn? You're drunk. Yo, what's up, Pop Smoke? When is my PC Nest going on sale? <laughs> um, so the PC Nests are done, actually. Um, we're waiting on the aluminum ones to be infilled, and then they're shipping over. So I'm hoping towards the end of the month. Mochi's KS3 recolors or CJ recolor? KS3 recolor. These are actually the, uh, the feet popcorn. Ooh, you might like the drink I'm, I'm drinking. It's called Drunk Fruit. I got it from H Mart. Okay, fine, not straws. I'm glad we uh, we ended that debate. QK65 tomorrow. I've been seeing that a lot. Who makes the QK65? Gonna be ultra flexy? I think so. Ja, nice to hear about the PC Nest being done, but do you have any Mac compatible ones? Want one for work. I'll tell you what, Justin, you make a Mac compatible play tray and I'll make a Mac compatible nest. Do we have a deal? Okay, let's take a look here. Looks like something that's sold at Whole Foods. <laughs> um, I got it from H Mart, all right? So we have the Zeus PCB. And uh, if you guys know Koob, he has a ton, he does a ton of R&D, takes a ton of pride in this PCB here, and it is more than special, right? So this is obviously the Zeus. We have flex cuts running along the alphas there in the middle. And uh, <laughs> just like the Pandora, we have designed by Kubicek for the 1%. And you guessed it, this is indeed the Bluetooth version PCB. So we are going to be typing on a wireless Bluetooth TKL tonight. Um, 
silly hat, please. I'm gonna freaking come over to your hotel and freaking <laughs> give you a noogie for doing that. <laughs> All right, fine. I, I will wear the silly hat. Everybody has been amazing. It's so nice out here. Hiro Nori ruined ramen for me. Yo, little Bonaparte is, is visiting on a work trip and he hit me up um, and said he was gonna be in town, like uh, in my city and uh, and told me he liked ramen. So I brought him to Hiro Nori. Uh, he, so we had Hiro Nori for the first time and uh, it sounds like uh, he was impressed. All right, so what else we got here? We do have some other indicator uh, lights as well. We have charging done, battery charging, and battery on. So you can actually solder individual LEDs onto these, which will then protrude through the uh, plate and then through the top case as well, right? Um, obviously Bluetooth, we have the little battery power on switch right here as well. We got a reset. Um, we have Zeus, the man, the myth, the legend here himself and pearlports.net. Additionally, Koob has gone above and beyond and labeled all of your stabs there just in case um, you were stumped. So you have 10U, 625, and 7U. So yes, this does indeed support 10U, right? Moving on to the back of the PCB here. Zeus TKL wired or Bluetooth compatible, BLE 5.0, powered by ZMK, right? So we do have a battery JST there. We have a, um, a Kate. This one's gonna be going to the daughter board. Uh, we also have the encoder right there. And lastly, I believe this is for um, an antenna. Is this for the antenna, for a Bluetooth antenna? If I'm not mistaken. Ryan, did you have LEDs? <laughs> do I have LEDs? No, I do not. Rumble pack. Wait, does this one not have the rumble pack? Is that only the wired one? I didn't even see. I didn't even see this flex cut right here on the front. So there's also a flex cut um, between the alphas and the nav. Um... Oh, so the rumble pack is only on the wired one right now. I would have to, it looks like, uh, does the rumble pack work on the wireless one as well? Coob. Anyways, um, I'm not going to be building the wired one tonight, but, um, Rumble pack, what is it? Yo, what's up, Xing Xing? When are you freaking picking up your midnight nest, huh? I've had a sticker on it this whole time, so I don't accidentally sell it. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Flex? Kaze waiting room, you dig? Let's go, bud. Flex, what are you typing on? Yo, and we got Kevin, who I definitely stood up today. I'm so sorry, I was getting ready for stream. <laughs> When's the 75% coming, Koob? Yeah, you deckhead. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty rude. Dalco959. What a flex. Name checks out. Could've just been an art piece on your bed during stream. Yikes, dude. All right, uh, tomorrow? Let's play tennis tomorrow. Uh, when will you be there? You're ne you're the one never, where is, where is there? I'm always here. I'm always here. You're never here. So um, we do have a rumble pack here. And if you guys remember, um, this is actually for some haptic feedback. Uh, when I built the Pearl, gosh, that was a while ago. I built the Pearl quite a bit ago. It had one of these as well. And this, this actually works um, just as it sounds. As you're typing, when you hit each key, it actually rumbles a little bit, which is pretty cool. Uh, definitely never experienced that before, um, but I don't think we have it on the Bluetooth one tonight. So um, we've already experienced it, but it is it looks like it is an option, right? <laughs> Almost feels like you're avoiding me. <laughs> Wait, what? Where is there? <laughs> you're never here. Oh, June 23rd to the 26th, I'll be in California. So will I. Deal. 
you got a deal. I am actually going on a, uh, what the frick was that? I'm actually going on a, you're my number one option. <laughs> number one stunner, shine every summer. Um, I'm going on a European vacation <laughs> um, on the, uh, when am I leaving? July 4th. So I will be here. That is also why I can't make the, um, the other meetup because I'm going to be gone. Last time you were going to a fest. That is true. That is, I, I had an alibi. It checked out. All right. Okay. So that is the wired one. This is the Bluetooth one. Um, FR4 plates. Got to do stabs first. Derp, derp. Look at that. Wow. I'm so proud of myself. I'm actually doing stabilizers on stream. <laughs> Howdy, Ryan. Ha ha, Ryan. <laughs> Howdy back to you. Is your name Ryan? Are you making fun of me being named Ryan? Wow. <laughs> Neat Zeus. Uh, Xing Xing, did you build a Zeus? Or was that was lightning, right? I'm also Ryan. Wow. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. You hear? Diego? Got it. Got it. Uh, don't worry. Have no fear. I, I can lube stabs quite quickly. <sighs> Y'all are Ryans and I'm a Ryan out here? Wait, are you really? Get a, what a phony! A great big phony! Alright, got my brush. Stocked up on some lube from Divinity. <laughs> Popcorn with the 100 bits. Hype train. Oh! Wait, was there actually a hype train? Let's, let's freaking go. Popcorn, what are you typing on? Are you at the office still? <laughs> Last time Ryan did stabs on stream, we got a seven hour stream. Okay, that's not happening. I mean, a little stream under four hours, never heard of it. Dude, the last stream I did, wasn't that under four hours? What is your favorite weight color for the gun metal Kaze? Ooh. Dude, that's, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. Um... I, for the gunmetal, I like the brass or the, or the, um, or the copper. I think the stainless looks good, but I think the brass or the copper looks more like metal, more, more themed, thematic. So, um, without being too cliche, I actually like the brass on that one. Um, but for the red and the pink and the, pretty much all the other ones, I prefer the stainless steel polished. Yeah. What did I miss? Right on time? You're right on time. You're always on time. Do you like Alice boards? I'm waiting on one, but I don't know what to expect. Yes. I would say if you've never typed on one, give it a couple days to get used to it. I got, I got used to it pretty quick. What are some Asian drinks you suggest like drink drunk fruit? So my, uh, my absolute favorite, um, um, is Soku S O K U. Um, it is a, it's soju, uh, it's like a soju seltzer. It's freaking fantastic. I gave popcorn one. I think, I think she liked it. Um, but uh, it's kind of hard to find. They don't even have it at H Mart. You got to go to like the legit, legit Asian markets for it. It's bomb. It's really bomb. I'm home feeling comfy, about to sleep. It's nine o'clock. What's wrong with you? I think brass with gunmetal is like the only time I think brass look better. I would probably agree with you on that, Chiazzo. The copper and denim is sheesh. Agreed. Agreed. Last time you speed ran it at the end. I know. Red and SS is seriously tempting as well. Red and SS is like, that's, that's like, it goes hand in hand for sure. For sure. Um, it's TX stabs this Sunday. Ooh, popcorn. Um, when did you change the packaging? I feel like I'm like, playing Pokemon collect them all now. Look at this, we got three different colors here. So um, it used to be yellow. Now, now they're orange for the 1.6 and they're pink for the 1.2. Look at that. 
Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I kind of want an Ava, and I need more stabs. <laughs> Yo, how about more watermelon gummies? <laughs> 12 a.m. here and gotta wake up at 6. Oh! Kube, Kube is... Alright. Get back to work. Lemo, because Kin is preparing for colored stabs. Got it. Okay. I thought I got knockoffs when I got the orange and pink and purple. Yo. Why am I opening up another pack? You're drunk. Get out of here. I went ham on TX stab pre-orders. Now I have seven unused sets. It's all... Dude, that is, that is like not a problem at all to have. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's all your fault. Dude, I have... Um, I just restocked on TX stabs. But I can't wait to see the colors. Popcorn, do, do we know what colors are going to be coming out? Or is that a secret? Secret, secret. I got a secret. Tony's Kaze with Sandblasted SS, right? Sandblasted SS looked really nice. I was shocked how good the stainless uh, steel Sandblasted looks with the red. Honestly. I, I, it was so classy. You guys don't know what happened to Tony's uh, Kaze, do you? Uh, I had a two, <laughs> I had a two watermelon gummies today. I'm feeling great, yo. <laughs> Stick slaps. There we go, bud. All right, we're 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 keeping our eye on the prize right now. Don't worry. Let's see. We'll go here. Um, so so uh, Tony's Kaze. So Teha built it on stream. It was like a super, a super improv. Oh, I want Makibo colors first, but let's see. All right. In before popcorn orders blue stabs. That'll go with every every keyboard out there. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, but uh, so Teha built um, Tony's Kaze, and uh, I guess in transit uh, from California to New York, somewhere along the line, it just got freaking demolished. So the entire corner of it looks like it was like dragged, like dropped and then dragged on concrete. I'll have to find the picture that he sent me. Yeah, he like, he DM'd me and he goes, bro, do you have any more Kaze bottom cases? And I was like, we had no extras. So yeah, I felt bad. He goes, he, he's it's still like one of his favorite boards and he still uses it <laughs> because it, the, the scuff is on the bottom. But I was like, dude, we got it. We got to hook that up. We got to get that replaced. So, anyways, that's what happened. Yeah, pretty, pretty sad about it. <laughs> pretty scuffed. But um, all right. So, if you guys have seen me lube TX dabs before, I'm sure you have. Uh, you'll know that um, it's relatively simple, um, and I am happy to report. I feel like I was probably one of the first persons, first people to. Uh, to use TX stabs. So I've had some boards with TX stabs for months and months and months and months and um, still no ticking. So pretty insane. <laughs> one of one unique board, I know, right? Yeah, it's, it was bad, it was bad. Yo, what's up, Raz? Dude, Raz, how you been? Hey, hi, how you doing? It makes that a special board that represents a unique experience shared with Tony, encapsulated in time. <sighs> that is true. That is true. As cheesy as you are sometimes, Justin, you're always a glass half full kind of guy. And I, I respect that. Kin really saved us with all the, uh, these stabs. I know, right? Dude, I'll, one, of, one of my least favorite things about stabs, if I'm being honest, wasn't actually lubing them. It was screwing them in. Like, especially if a board had like ice ISO support around the enter, it'd always like fall out and I have to hold it sideways and screw it in. It just, that was, clippings are a blessing. So 
Look at this. We're already we're already almost halfway done. <laughs> Yo, what's up, T cubed? Hello, Mr. Lil Stacks. How's it going, bud? How you doing? That's definitely one type of patina. Yo, soon they're gonna come out with um with like uh rugged <laughs> distressed patina, like uh like holes in jeans. There's gonna be uh uh, scuffed keyboards are gonna be um, all the rage just you wait did you buy it like that no came like this on purpose Justin is so darn wise I know he's wise beyond his years <laughs> yo what was the board with the MX Xylance that was the RS the RS60, which is also a uh, Makiba board. I have that at work right now. That board is exclusively going to be a, uh, a late night gaming board, so it's not loud. <laughs> Did you get the wooden Kaze back yet? Kill switch, you are the... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the Kaze, wooden Kaze counter at two for the night. Um, no, I have not. I have not. Knee Deep gonna pull out the sledgehammer next? Dude, Knee Deep's been doing some crazy work. He's a wizard. All right. So I'm, I'm, I'm basically just hitting the, uh, hitting the inside of these housings, like, pretty, uh, Not sloppily, but you don't you don't have to pay too much. You don't have to be too tedious with this. It's all gonna get mushed around anyway. All right. Anywhere still have these stabs been in stock? These will be in stock on Sunday. So popcorn has told us there's gonna be another TX drop on Sunday for stabs. So if you are if you are looking to pick some of these up, go over to Mekibo on three, three days from now all right let's hit the uh the wires real quick boom Clippins with included toothpick mod shims is just an insane leap forward for stabs. I agree. I agree. I, it's it's like to me stabs aren't even a, it's a non-issue now to be honest. I now that we have stabs specifically made for uh, thin PCBs, there's no reason not to use TX stabs in my opinion. Like the only time I will ever use any other stabs is if somehow whoever I'm building a board for requests it. Uh, what do you think Lowell's sweater weather or <laughs> did you seriously just type sweater weather like sweater? <laughs> sweater weather or November fog for a mint icky. Ooh, I would go to November fog. I'd go November fog. Although sweater weather is sick, I think I think that November fog would look better on the icky. But the only thing you might run into is, so, so what I have found with greens is, um, I don't know why with greens, like with, with a red board or a blue board, say you have like a, a bright red board and you use dark red caps, it kind of works. Um, same vice versa with, uh, with, with blue, but for some reason, I feel like with green, if you, if you, if the hues are too far off, it, it kind of doesn't work. So it might, it kind of clashes instead of goes with it. So that would be the only thing I would be worried about, um, 
but November fog definitely is in the green direction, whereas sweater weather is uh, is not. Are there a decent amount of 1.2 T stabs on the next drop? Ooh. 70-30? Okay. Green is so hard to match. It really is. That's why with green, um, I have found that botanical is is pretty solid on because it has multiple green hues uh botanical works on a lot of green boards um additionally beige is like never a bad idea on a green board beige almost always looks good as well all right and we are on to the last stab i um I need to double check here. Aha! This is Winky. Do I have? I don't even think I have a TX Winky one. Hang on. Shoot, I don't. I'm gonna have to go grab a different uh, wire. Beige is cheat code to good looks, agreed. I def need a green board to put botanical on. Dude, botanical is freaking sick. Oh, you're right. We'll just build it song in. That's true. Yeah. Good call. We'll do that. I like the way you think. Thank you. Um, any frog owners have the cheat code for which tadpole dudes are best to install? I assume all of them isn't the best answer. Ah, oh, dude, I remember I remember playing around with it when I had my frog. And there definitely was like a best, a best option layout for for me, but I forgot what it was, so I'm not much help. All right, space bar is now done. I'm so sad that Botanical 2 has the worst caps lock key in existence. I did see that. No comment on that. Ryan is only used to Winkeyless TKLs. He didn't recognize the possibility of a Winkey 7U. Pretty much. Pretty much. I almost never... Um, I mean, unless it's like a unicorn. Uh, yeah. I've, I, I've never built, built Winkey 7Us. Uh, but thanks, Lols. You're still cool. Damn. I'm glad I'm still cool. Yo, fuse bot. What's good? All right, stabs are done. Let's pop them on the board. I'll show you guys how easy the new shims are. Yo, Raj Zone, you demand. No, you demand. What are you typing on, Raj? One sec. This is my, my reject pile here. I wanna make 
make sure. Hold on one moment. I'm gonna use a different housing on this one. with Prussian blue dude I, I like literally cannot keep up with the is that a keycap set I can't keep up with the ones that come out these days it's kind of crazy what are GMK lead times at right now that's that's really the question you right easy enough we're back to 2018 fellows only one GB a month otherwise one will fail dude right I remember when there was like like two or three GBs a month was a big deal uh, Mick long base though yes 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 23 18 months okay all right. Longer than most people's time in this hobby. <laughs> Dude, muted, muted is super underrated. Muted, super underrated. All right, stabs are in. And uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this little disc, right? Break these off. And we are basically going to be popping them into the, uh, the stab clips. Super simple. Like, if you're watching how quick I'm doing this, um, it's gonna vary depending on the PCB that you're using, right? So whoever makes the PCB, whoever designs a PCB, uh, they have control over the diameter of those holes, right? So obviously if they make the hole too small, uh, it's gonna be a lot harder to put these little shims in. For the most part, I haven't found any that were like too hard uh, to put in. Um, the one thing I will note, uh, let's see if this board has, this board does have it and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Um, Cause it's happened to me before and uh, maybe I can save you guys some time. There's one, one tiny like caveat that I have seen with these stabs. And uh, I'll show you in a second here once I get these put in. It actually happened on my uh, derivative. And uh, it has to do with uh, split backspace. Show you in one second. I got two more of these to do. One and two. All right. So let's, let me show you guys something real quick here. <laughs> wow, the creator of the Nerd Nest XXSL also streams Keeves. Great to know. Forbidden, are you serious or are you joking? Get the frick out of town. <laughs> Hi there, Mr. Tha Mr. Little Stack. Yo, what's up, Brandon? How's it going? What are you typing on tonight? I'm not sure if I'm fine to share a link, but someone made a Google Sheet tracking the shipment of all sets and makes the timeline look even worse. Dude, you better freaking drop that link in here. Let's go. Uh, wait, why are those little thingies used again to make sure that the clipped in stab doesn't pop out? Yes, so basically once the clip goes in, it kind of goes like this a little bit, right? Just a little bit. You can still, they still wiggle a little bit on the top, right? So uh, they'll still wiggle a bit. 
once you put this shim in there, it spreads it out and basically locks it in. So therefore you have like basically no wobble as if it is screwed in. But the only, my only complaint, one tiny complaint, cause nothing's ever perfect is this. Um, what happens is if you have split backspace support more often than not, take a look here, there will be a switch hole, switch pin hole that is uh, joined with the stab hole, right? And that makes the shim sit at a diagonal. And then see this, there's no way for it to be tight because it doesn't have anything to press against. So over time, this falls out and basically just rattles around in the bottom of the, uh, of the case. So that's what happened to my derivative. I was like, dude, what could that possibly be? It sounds like there's like a piece of plastic rolling around and that's cause there is. So no matter how hard you try to put this in there, it's just going to fall out. So bad news is I don't use it on those. Good news is it's, it's still very, very uh, tight with just one, right? So like if I show you guys here, this one has the shim. This one doesn't have the shim. You won't notice. I don't think you'll notice. I'm typing on a pink Praxis tonight. Yo, Praxis types very nice. I do love the PC bottom. Uh, yo, is that the play tray? Can I get a ball spin? You freaking sure can. Let's go. Uh, I've never had it fall out, but I don't use shims. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that explains a lot. So you're telling me the way to go is split backspace on a TKL. Kinda. That would solve the issue. You need a tape mod over the stab shims, right? <laughs> I don't even toothpick mod my regular cherry clippings. Never felt the need. Yeah, I think for the most part, cherry clippings are pretty tight. But uh, fear I really a sexy streamer? Oh my goodness, don't you're gonna freaking make me blush. How much to solder the entire board without letting the ball drop? Uh... Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, joke, it was a joke. <laughs> I didn't know it was a joke until you put joke with the parentheses, I get it now. <laughs> but um, anyways, that's the only, only issue I've ever ran into with TX stabs. And it's not even a TX stab issue really. It's, it's whether or not the designer of the PCB um, put the, um, the switch pinhole um, conjoined with the stab hole. Now, if these were screw-ins, that could potentially lead to a shortage, right? Where you'd want to use a washer. Because anytime a screw touches metal on the PCB, usually not a good thing. So um, if these were screw-ins, you'd, you'd probably want to use a, a washer there, right? That's the only thing I've ever ran into uh, with TX stabs. All right, PC, or uh, sorry, FR4 plate. Let's get some water. I have, I have fallen back in love with my analogy. So I've been carrying this, this bad boy around. Got some liquid IV in here. Damn, I get to learn so much about stabs that I just use to slap those in. The only ones, um, it's it's just the slip backspace one, and it's not on every piece of me. Your analogy and sticker game needs some work? Yo, you know what? Hang on one sec. Does my, does my mini Nalgene make up for it? We got the Gator Ron. We got the Doge. We got the Bob Capped Gengar, NK, 1UP Keyboards, Heine. Dude, this is a, uh, this was really old. This one's really old. We got a Shishi, look at that. <laughs> wow. 
OG right there. All right. I put my Kaze sticker on mine. So many compliments. Yo, wait, really? Dude, I, I freaking love how the sticker turned out. Uh, check it out. We just got in uh, this, this like kind of like eggplant colored one. Pretty cool. <laughs> nice, still not built. Yo, what's up, yellow? <sighs> Hear me out. Someone needs to fill the void in a gasket relief mounted wrist rest. These solid wrist rests feeling kind of stiff lately. How about a JJW NRD collab where we have a wrist rest that is gasket mounted. So whenever you put your wrist on the wrist rest, it, it ever so slightly depresses and just is like a cushion, you know? I'm down. Let's do it. Brian, what are your thoughts on the owl stabs? I think they're okay. Um, I would take, I would definitely use TX over those though. I, I, I wouldn't say they're bad. I wouldn't say they're bad. I just prefer the TX. So original, he gonna slap Kaze sticker on it. <laughs> uh, those are some good quality sticks. Quantity lacking a bit, but we'll work on it off stream. Don't, what the frick? You don't like my stickers? Look at the Kaze sitting behind on his bed. I just jump in there and grab one myself. Don't you freaking dare. Oh, green one. How much for your treasures, Gypsy? <laughs> uh, what other NRD products can I buy to get more stickers? Uh, we will have... Um, we're going to have the trays and the coasters hopefully somewhat soon. So those will those will probably come with stickers. Faki wrist rest. I prefer top mounted wrist rest for the typing experience. All right, get the frick out of town. Um, okay, I'll tell you guys a, a, a kind of a funny story while I'm putting these switches in. Oh, let's test our stabs real quick. So, not a meme. I think it's a legit idea. We discuss later. <laughs> All right, hey, Justin, can we discuss this over Hot Pot? I'm freaking down. Let's do it. I'm down. I don't joke around. All right. How does the Kaze compare to all the TKLs you've tried? I am, I am super biased, obviously, uh, even though I try not to be, but it, it is one of my favorite typing boards, without a doubt. Um, and I think anyone who's typed on one, uh, I, 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 I want more Kaze's to get out there in the wild so I can get um, even more feedback from people. But so far the feedback has been pretty stellar. The eggplant one looked more burgundy brown. I don't know what color it is. It's it's kind of similar to these switches. Uh, are the switch bags dead product? <laughs> um, the switch, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I actually made the switch bags for myself to put all my switches in, uh, but my thought was to include the X rings that are gonna be coming with the Kaze, like an X ring, the stickers, uh, some other goodies inside the Kaze bag. So I think that's what I'm gonna repurpose them for. Or rather, order more for. Nah, man, I said they were good in the quality department, but need to pump, oh, pump up the quantity. I gotcha. Dude, these stickers are expensive, bro. Like, they cost like a dollar each. Not cheap. Send me a, a Kaze and I'll provide feedback and money. Wow. <laughs> How does the Zeus compare to the And Pro 2? Dude, it's way harder to build. I'll, I'll freaking, I'll tell you that. Does Lowell's have a code for Canon keys? I don't actually. Yeah. I don't think Canon keys does codes. I do have a lot of codes for other, other uh, sponsors though. I have like, um, I have like an affiliate link, but it doesn't give you anything off. So you don't have to use it. All right, let's check our stabs. Oof.
What are the odds that those rose gold peach eno causes are gonna make it into the wild? Uh, there's like four or five in the wild right now. But I think I think the rose gold ones. Well, it's it's technically blush pink. I think we only made like five of them, four of them, something like that. So there there are a couple in the wild, but not many. I'm hoarding about like seven or eight Kaze stickers. I already told you guys what happened when I brought the Kaze stickers to uh, night. I'm asleep. Yo, good night, popcorn. I already told you guys what happened to the Kaze stickers when I brought them to the meetup, and I got in trouble. typed on a kage um at the meetup but it was on a table so I, I can't really comment on it um that's a nice color on the kage what color is it this is um my lighting's a little bit bright tonight i might have to fix that a little bit but this is the lilac one you can kind of see it better now um but um before I'm going to bed, use the code KazeSoLit for 10% off all in-stock items valid until midnight. What the frick? All right. If you guys are looking to pick up some stuff on Makibo, now is definitely your chance. <sighs> Thank you, Popcorn. I appreciate you. Hope you have a splendid, a splendid slumber. Is that Shoko? Yes, this is Shoko. Someone bought that RS yet? Is there an RS for sale on the Kibo right now? Keyboards. Yes. Is hey, Kase still on there? Let's go. Nice. Okay, cool. Stabs are juicy. Um, I think badges are broken right now. Oh, what the heck? Dude, that's funny. I was actually wondering. I was like, I'm pretty sure Busy Timmy subbed. That was the first one I noticed. What happened to badges? They broke for everyone? <laughs> I'll just assume that you guys all don't support me, I guess. Cute cat tray. Yo! Thank you, used chopstick. Okay, let's continue putting these in. Uh, and mostly poof some survivors, though? Dude, that's strange. Is it like that on, um, on like, Twitch overall right now? I've never seen this happen on Twitch. I know, right? Dude, I, um, oh yeah, I was gonna tell you guys kind of a funny story that I had. Um, I was, I was invited by a friend to go play tennis. Should I grab Tegugi? Uh, I definitely butchered that. I actually just saw that in person and, um, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Um, the only reason I didn't grab it is because it's super similar to Demon Sword. So, otherwise I would have grabbed it. For me, only Kazo has a sub badge and myself. Seba, you don't have it on mine. I'm sorry. <laughs> that means someone else here, John. That means something here, John. Wow. Wait, is it? I'm actually curious. Let me see. Is it is it gone on uh, on everyone's, or is it just mine? Uh, let's move. Actually, 
John got his sword back. Anyone else still? Everyone else still missing? No sub badges here. Badges gone. That's it. I'm out of here. What about other streamers? Is it, is it gone in other streams too, or is it just my stream? No more badges, huh? I took them away. You guys were abusing them. <laughs> you guys can't be trusted with badges. I'm done if there's no... All right, all right. Don't worry. I'll get it fixed. I'll get it fixed. Don't worry. <laughs> you guys on my... Don't worry. You all, you all have a badge in my heart. <laughs> Give me my badge back. Hey, man. Give me my badge back. Yeah, actually, there's this new thing with Twitch. You have to su you have to subscribe to the OnlyFans as well as Twitch, and then the, the badge gets imported. If it's only one or the other, it doesn't count. I'm sorry. My dad works for Twitch. I'll get you banned for scamming people's sub badges. Wow. <laughs> I think you actually have to resub to get the badge again, even though you already subbed. For me, uh, Kiazos is the only one that shows up. <laughs> I just resubscribed today feeling scammed right now. Oh my god. <laughs> I think Twitch is having a meltdown. Alright, well, while, while we're waiting for the badges to come back. Alright. Ryan lulls my facts. Get the frick out of town. I'll tell you guys, uh... A story I want to know how you would have reacted if if you were me right so I was like awkward but at the same time like cool I don't know so don't let this distract you from the fact that Makiba popcorn is 10% off I'm gonna I'm probably gonna have to go use that code for something um, so I, uh, I got invited to go play tennis, right? I've played tennis since high school. Um, I'm like fairly, I would say I'm pretty decent at tennis, especially if I if I get in the rhythm of playing consecutively, I'm pretty decent, right? And um, would have reacted with hostility. I haven't told the freaking story yet. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I get invited to go play tennis um, with Sandy with like 10 people. And um, of those 10 people, I had only met like two of them before. So we go play tennis. And um, the second I walk onto court, uh, do you moan on each swing? Only if I'm really trying. It's like a it's like a slight grunt. But um, at any rate, um, I walk onto the court and I say hi to my buddy uh, and I meet one guy. And then the next guy, I go to shake his hand, I meet him and he goes, I know you. And I'm like, I've never met this guy in my life. Don't, never seen him before. He goes, I know you. And I'm like, from where? I, and he goes, he goes, keyboards. And I'm like, really? And he goes, he goes, yeah, I've seen your YouTube videos. And I'm like, thinking to myself, okay, like I make YouTube videos, but only my Twitch ones. And then, uh, and then he goes, um, he goes, yeah, the Keychron YouTube video. And I'm like, And I was like, I didn't know how to respond. <laughs> I was like, I didn't want to tell him like, that's not me. But then I got also didn't want to like lie to him. And so then I was like, okay, maybe he like watched a couple of my videos and then like watched the Keychron one like the same day or something. And then like got it mixed up with me. But I took it as either way, at some point he must have watched a video of me to recognize me, right? So I thought that was cool. <laughs> that was, I think, the first time I've ever been like, like, uh, I guess, recognized in real life. But at the same time, I didn't know how to react because <laughs> it definitely wasn't me in the key, in the Keycon video. <laughs> well, clearly you have to fight him. Oh, I know. Like, I clearly we have to throw down. Out of all the vids, it wasn't even you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, guess you just look like Alex Odo's. I know, right? <laughs> I I was like, I, I I didn't have the heart to tell him. Like, I I think I said something like like oh yeah, like I do keyboards, but like I mainly do Twitch, and um, 
I might, might not have been me on the Keychron one, but maybe a different one. <laughs> I know you, keyboard from the YouTube, the next, next triple XL. Such a weird ass case of Tony Hawk syndrome. I know, but yeah, so I think that was the first time I've ever been like, I guess like someone recognized me in, in real life, but at the same time, yeah, like it wasn't me who he was thinking of, but it was me. <laughs> so I'll take it. <laughs> oh, badges are back. There we go. First bit I thought he could have seen was the 21 KB comparison. I know, right? Maybe he like clicked on mine for like a second in between videos and like rec just recognized my face. I don't know. <laughs> Basically, I'm famous. <laughs> Far from it. You look like that Ryan guy that builds keyboards on Twitch. <laughs> I know, right? Is Coop still here? I know I'm keeping him up past his bedtime. Medium spring gang. 100%. I am... Um, I have been converted. 62 gram or 60 gram medium springs are my go-to from TX. Popcorn has them on Makibo. If you do want to use that 10% off, you can. Dude, yeah, she just got XL, XL TX springs in. <laughs> I, I don't think they're my cup of tea but um, definitely would be interesting to try out. All right, we're almost done putting these freaking switches in. What are we at? Dude, we're only at three hours, bro. This is like, oh, this isn't even a, a long stream so far. We got this. <clears throat> so long or short springs from Akibo. I go medium. I go medium on everything. Medium 62 or 60 gram, depending on the switch. The the springs I have in the Kaze right here that you guys uh, heard the typing test earlier in my uh, Ultra Glides, these are uh, 62 gram medium. I just bought four packs of short and now you tell me medium? <laughs> Bro, you should have asked. That's my streamer. Yo, what up, cancers? Try 57 gram XL on browns? What the? You evolved to medium, I know, right? You know what's funny? Uh, K3Zy was like 55 gram long in every board. And uh, he typed on the Kaze, loved it, and said he, he thinks he needs to go to 60 or 62 now. Uh, medium that is all right there we are I just want to make sure uh, because obviously I don't have much experience <laughs> I don't have much experience typing on a uh, or building <laughs> a uh, non wind keyless board let's just make sure this all uh, this all works here Gucci. We're Gucci. Just for safe measure. There we go. Dude, I think this is actually going to sound really nice. Mojis on FR4 is going to be nice. I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it right now.
<laughs> what is this music? I feel like I'm like in fantasy land right now. All right, let's pop this out of the way. Oof. I believe it's soldering time. That's weird, they sounded more like short springs to me. All right, dude. <laughs> Music kind of sick with it, not gonna lie. <laughs> I feel like it's like too epic for what I'm doing right now. <laughs> all right, let's make sure these are all fully seated. Let's take a look. Looking solid, looking solid, looking thick, real thick. Uh, the PCB does have uh, those flex cuts, so whenever a PCB has flex cuts, I always want to like double and triple check that the switches get seated proper. It's looking pretty good though. Cool. All right, I believe it's soldering time. It's soldering time. Freaking joking my ass, Coop. Soldering right at my bedtime, perfectly on schedule. Good luck with giveaway, y'all. Good night. Yo, later, cancerous. I appreciate you. Done. Pick up six bag. I done pick up six bags of 62 gram medium springs with code Kaze. So lit. You dig? I can't trust someone who types on 70 plus. Sorry, Reverie. Dude, Lil Bonaparte types on 78 gram. What a weirdo. My first custom keep switch were stocking blacks. Now I can't go anywhere near. Si Damn, you've trained the fingers, huh? <laughs> Pretty sure someone redeemed solder hat a, an hour ago. <sighs> they most definitely did. So I'm going to use a little boys room real quick and then we'll solder. All right, we're back. Oof. Cool. All right, let's get, uh, let's make some room here. Get our fan out. Do you have the hat? Don't you worry. Huh. A 
Okay, I found you. Oh, where's my cable? I think this is the right one. Let's double check here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right. Timo Hat is going on for the redemption. Bump the music a little bit. We will get the fan turned on. And I believe it's soldering time. S -s 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 Solder it. I feel like my head's getting bigger. This thing's getting, getting tighter and tighter. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and like somewhat speed run this. Usually I get distracted while soldering and I go off on some, some sort of a tangent, but uh, I think I'm gonna try and get this one done at a relatively steady pace. A lot easier since there's no alp support also the kind of the diameter of the pad around the pin is a nice nice tolerance speed running won't save you from another seven hour stream you know right yo i think dude are we really at three hours and 17 minutes this is gonna be like one of the fastest streams no alp support are you saying the slopes are closed yo dude no alp support this is going to be a gg look how much better look how much more pleasant it is to solder without alp support you don't have any worry about that second solder overflowing into the alps hole it's just it's just nice it's very nice God bless no Alps support. Alps home, dude. Dude, I'm. I'm gonna use that one in, in in real life. You're you're in Alps home, bro, and they'll have no idea what I'm talking about, and uh, they'll ask me if I meant asshole, and I'm gonna say no. An Alps hole is way worse than an asshole, and they still won't get it, but it's okay, because I'll get it. An asshole has an actual purpose. <laughs> that is, yo, cancerous. End on that one. That was that was money. That was money. You you can go to bed now. You can go to bed now. So yeah, there was a, uh, it's like an inside joke with yourself. Those are the best kinds. Agreed. I really wanted to go to, um, there's a meetup 
in July. July? July. But um, that I wanted to go to in, L in, in Long Beach, I think it was. Um, but I'm going to be out of the country. I just planned a, um, a decent trip. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to f Paris for uh, like six days. Then I'm going to London for like five days. And then New York for like three days. So it's gonna be like a two week trip. And um, I'm just gonna, just gonna miss it. But I have not been to London or Paris, so I'm pretty excited. July 16th, yeah, I've been thinking about going myself. Yeah, I leave on the 4th and I can come back on the 18th, so I'm just gonna miss it. Keyboard Treehouse meet up a couple of weeks for all the Aussies in Sydney. Bro, should I come to that one? Watch your old TKL1 VOD. Uh, if you're not using the aluminum plate anymore, would you care to sell it to me? Yo, what's up, Slim Jin? Um, dude, I, I think if I'll make you a deal, I'll go through my plate stash. If I still have it, then you got it. If you can remind me after stream though, deal? Yo, it's that one Brody, Kaze so lit. Let's go, bud. What's up, Brody? How you doing? Deal. <laughs> Are you gonna get me a fancy leather card case, dude? I think I think one go yard giveaway uh, is enough for the year, no? Yo, Torin! Yo! Wow, is that trying to imitate me? What's up, Torin? Chillin' chillin' ended my night with your stream? Yo, same. <laughs> May I post a meetup Discord link for the East Coast meetup? You bet your bottom dollar you can. Fair, very fair. <laughs> so I, I, uh, I, I told K Thrizzy that I, uh, I've been dripping on him for the Avia build stream, right? I told him that he needs to do it for NRD as well. People need a face to the name so that they know who they're talking to when they roll into the emails. And uh, he said something along the lines of, I don't really want to do it, but if it means a lot to you, then I will do the Avia stream with you. So I think I'm going to hit him with the card that it means a lot to me to get him to do it. And then he goes, but bro, your, your, your streams are four hours, dude. Like, I don't want to be on camera for four hours. And I was like, bro, I'll do the opener. You come on for an hour and a half, we build it, and then you can leave. I think that's fair. I think, I think he's just a bit camera shy. And when he gets on camera, like three hours are gonna go by and he's not even gonna realize it. I bet you. And then I'm gonna be like, I'm like, all right, uh, I, all right, we're gonna end stream. And he's gonna be like, no, 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 no. Let's, let's keep going, let's keep going. All right, look at that. We're already on the bottom row. 
Who are you talking about? I am talking about uh, K Thrizzy. So K Thrizzy is uh, my business partner, I guess you can call it these days. We were uh, <laughs> met him at a, a keyboard meetup, what, three years ago. We've been friends ever since, and then we decided to start uh, NRD. So he is the other half of NRD. He also lives about uh, 15 minutes from me. So we, we go over each other's places quite often, which also makes it easy for QC. All right, last three switches here. Boom, done. Put a friggin' fork in it. Oh yeah, I know him, I was away when you mentioned him. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Dude, my, my desk is a, a mess. It is a mess right now. Oof. All right, let's take a look. See if we missed anything. I don't see it, I don't see it. Looking pretty good. There we go. They do kind of look like um, like a like a pinker version of Noctua. Just be like, but you being on camera for four hours would mean a lot to me. I I I could always hit him with the guilt trip for sure. All right, so I am going to. I'm gonna hit this with the daughter board real quick outside the case. Make sure that uh, everything is soldered correctly before we put it in. Yo, check it out. One thing, why am I still wearing this hat? I do not know. Telling me the tax right off business expense trip to Sydney. Yo, when is uh busy Timmy? You got you got me on the uh, on the stay though, right? I just pay I just pay for the plane ticket. <laughs> Imagine using a red JST cable with a blue PCB when you have a blue JST. All right, bud. We're just we're just freaking testing right now, okay? One thing you'll notice about this PCB, there are only two LEDs on the bottom, right? So uh, the board actually only has two little slits on the sides for RGB. Look at that, dude. This reminds me of a magic, um, a magic trick that I bought one time and was super bummed about it. It was one of those Houdini's magic shops, and I saw I was like I think like ten at the time, and there was a guy. He basically had these like fake thumbs that had little LEDs in them. And it looked like that. And it looked like you were holding an LED. And he'd go like that, he'd go like that. Like, you know, pass it through his head, whatever. And I was like, dude, that is the sickest freaking thing ever. It was like 70 bucks or something. So I told my mom I had to have it. I was like, I, I need this like red LED, like imaginary ball. And then I bought it. And then I realized all it was was just two little rubber thumbs with an LED uh, inside. <laughs> Anyways, had a little flashback there. <laughs> all right, let's test the PCB. Mm, 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 mm. Boom, boom, 
not monkey type. Get the frick out of town. Uh, Firefox. Here we go. PCB test. Flip her over. Hey, hey, look at that. We have, we have a functioning keyboard here. Cool. Matt, bruh, I'm, str I'm still struggling. House fell through and we're rushing to find something else. Damn. Well, I'm sure prices have probably dropped since then, right? So that's not the worst thing. Any story that starts with this reminds me of a magic trick I bought one time is the coolest story ever. Dude, I was so bummed when I bought that thing. I was like, really? Like it's not, not an actual like, you know, magic LED ball. All right, move these out of the way. And uh, dude, I, I would like to formally apologize. It's been three and a half hours and I haven't even shown you the board that we're building tonight. That's, that's kind of crazy. You guys have some patience. I'm surprised no one rioted at this point. <laughs> Will we riot now? Please no, please no. Um, we do have, we do have, we're used to it. Okay, bud, way to make me feel bad. I do have a, um, a card here with a custom Wax seal. That's not a keyboard. <laughs> Too busy to write about the about the previously missing badges. I know, right? Wow, a handwritten note. Wow, from my pen pal Coob. I'll read my frick. This is a personal note, okay? All right, fine, you guys can read along with me. Ryan, it's such a pleasure to be able to send you another one of my boards. Zeus TKL was designed to be a 1% product with the latest technology in this market, but still maintain a classic feel with its top mounted system. I truly hope you enjoy it and help the, the Pearl Boards family grow. Shout out to chat K Thriz who never watches my streams anymore, clearly. And the rest of the crew, my best, Kubicek. And we got a little cheat sheet here. So I asked Kub when this board was gonna be launched and he hit me with the, no, there is no set date at the moment, right? So there's no set date for them at the moment, but this is, I think maybe some stuff has changed since, well, yeah, definitely some stuff has changed since this letter, but, um, this maybe is pretty much what you're looking at, right? <laughs> uh, 850 plus shipping. I don't know if that's changed at all. If I know Kube, it's probably still around that uh, because there's a shit ton going on with this board. Colors, red, blue, black, E white, solid. Uh, aluminum and polished stainless steel, two PCBs. So you have the QMK, which was the red one I showed you guys, the wired one. And then we have the Bluetooth one. Jupiter's Eye desk mat. So there's also a coordinating desk mat that goes with this keyboard. Uh, for plates, we have carbon fiber, palm, and FR4. So we are using FR4 tonight, right? And that's pretty much all he wrote. <laughs> all right. Oh. oh yes dude the color of this board it it reminds me of like like dark chocolate like a, a red dark chocolate it's like it's hard to explain it's like a dark chocolate but it's but it has a slight red hue to it as well let me get uh pretty sick right so there's a lot going on with this board 
I think Kube went to sleep. I don't blame him. He's in Florida, so he's definitely East Coaster time. So I'll try and go through um, most of the features of the board, um, but uh, I'm sure I'll miss something because there's a lot going on with this thing, right? Does it smell like chocolate? No, but it does smell mighty fine. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look, right? So. Uh, from the top here, we obviously have an F12 layout, right? So F12, uh, but we have the top right blocked, right? So this is blocked. Um, I do remember on on Kube's, one of Kube's original boards for the Zeus, um, this said Zeus on it. Then he changed it to the lightning bolt. I highly prefer the new lightning bolt. I think it looks very classy. We obviously have a win key board here, so we do not have the blockers. Um, Additionally, in this top case, we have three little uh, cutouts. So these are gonna be for what I was showing you guys on, um, on the PCB, right? So on the wireless one, you have uh, battery on, battery charging, and charging done. So you're actually gonna be able to tell um, if the battery for the wireless is turned on, if it's currently being charged, and if it's done charging full battery. That's kind of cool. Uh, additionally, we do have a slight cherry lip on the front, right? So although the front height is, is quite high, um, we do have that cherry lip, which brings the effective front height uh, down a bit, right? I'll get into the uh, internals in a second here, uh, but let's look at kind of the composition of the case, right? So obviously we have an aluminum top and aluminum bottom, uh, but we also have this mid layer. So, um, this kind of reminds me of obviously the Pandora, which is his uh, 60%, but it also reminds me of almost like a Q, right? I, and, and I love this. I love how this looks. I do. It's very nice. And this one actually goes around the entire board, right? So this mid layer goes around the entire board. We do have a um, kind of a form of a koala here, right? It's a kind of a koala with a big fillet, right? Um, goes from start to back big fillet there and we have this hole right here that's where the rgb from the pcb is gonna shine down onto the desk mat right i think it's gonna look pretty cool all right and moving towards the back we have a lot going on here right way way more than just a usb port so uh, we have a usb c we have a headphone jack we have two usb pass-throughs and we have a rotary knob as well as an engraving. Ridiculously overkill and so extra, ex pretty much exactly what I would expect from Kube, right? Uh, this rotary, very nice tactile. Obviously it has the Z for Zeus on it, which is pretty cool. Give you guys a close up of this real quick. Super nice. Other protos, they use another keyboard through the other USBs, which was so dank. Yes, yes. You can actually power another keyboard. I think I've powered the Pearl from one of these, which is kind of crazy. Yo, that's lit. Yo, right? Uh, do you get to keep this proto? I don't. I don't. Not that I'm aware of. And we got the back here, right? So you guys know me. I am a fan of the polished stainless steel. So we do have polished stainless steel with Zeus in the middle there. Very classy. So you guys a quick close up there. Super nice. Yo, and kit T T T V. <laughs> Thank you for the party rating of eight. What's up? Where is there a ding? I think it was just a piece of a uh, piece of fuzz there. Yo, thank you for the raid. What did you do tonight? This board is a looker, right? Dude, it's like it's like a chocolate brown, brownish red. Uh, so the cutouts on the side are for the LEDs. That is correct, right? So 
these LEDs, you got one here and you have one here. Those LEDs are actually gonna shine through these holes, right? See this hole right here? <clears throat> Gotta hit the sack, beautiful board on the East Coast as well. Yo, thank you for staying up so late. I appreciate it. Very subtle, very subtle. And I, it, it's, it's super classy too. You guys can see the cutout right there as well, right? Hey yo, yo, what did you do tonight? Welcome Raiders. We are, uh, you guys came just in time. We are, uh, we're finished soldering. Check out those switches. I think they're going to look pretty cool with the board. <sighs> Built a sex V1 proto TKL XT. Pretty nice. Oof. I actually haven't heard of that one. I'll check it out. What switches? Uh, what else we got here? That's pretty much it with regards to the externals. Um, let's go ahead and take it apart, right? Wax, nice. Always a good choice. Um, so Kuba's has also gone ahead and replaced the screws with these gold um, button head screws, which are kind of cool. Got some attention to detail there. Blacks, reds. Yeah, technically same thing, just different uh, springs, right? Um, okay, let's pop this down here and get her opened up. Throw is blocks. Ah, gotcha. This color is so lit. I, I personally have never seen uh, another board this color. Pretty cool. It's like a super dark red with some brown. <laughs> what do we think of the top right keys blocker chat? Yeah, what do you guys think about that? These are long screws. Your ceiling has a nipple. <laughs> That's the, uh, the, um, oh, wait, which one is that? That is the sprinkler. Honestly, it's a nice place for one refreshing to see a new spot. Not the worst. I use those for audio function. Yeah, anti-fire nipple. <laughs> is the fire nipple uh, bothering you? Sorry about that. I will not show that anymore. Um, I, I personally, um, if you guys want my opinion on it, I, I was not a huge fan of when the, when the top right said Zeus. I just thought it was too much going on. Um, and then he changed it to the bolt, the lightning bolt, which I love. I actually like it a lot now. So um, I'll show you guys kind of how this works. It's, it's quite interesting. So we flip this over, right? I think it works well there. I really do. It sprays milk. <laughs> what the? I actually, I mean, you might be right. I haven't, I haven't tested it. I have not tested it. Um, okay, so this is gonna pop off just like that, right? And we do have the uh, the top case here. Let's get our spudger. So this lightning bolt's actually a pretty huge badge. Right? Look how big this badge is. It's a pretty big badge. I like it. I dig it. Right? So we have a pretty big badge. We have R1 for round one right there. Um, we obviously have some top mount screws that are going to be going here with the plate. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Dude, I don't even remember the last time I built a top mount. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, so we go, what's these? Yo, Coop's back. Oh my, dude, I thought you might've left me stranded, brother. Are, are these the top mount screws? These uh, countersunk ones? Oh, 
Oh, you're you're right. I did with the OGR. I did. The OGR was interesting because it was like it was like top mount, but then you like bottom mounted the top plate. It was kind of interesting. Is that a speaker in the bottom? Oh yes, that is a speaker. We will get to that in a second. No way, I wouldn't leave Saludos ba <laughs> Bato. <laughs> Yo, let's go, bud. Bato, you won't believe what I saw. I'm really enjoying that rich brown coloration. Agreed. The phone was dead? Damn. The right blocker is definitely different than knob and USB port make up for it though. Nice. Hi all, I'm here thanks to Anke. Yo, welcome! Um, can't remember. <laughs> Let's try this out. I think, I think these are the right screws. Let's see. Yep, 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 yep. I should have bought OGR. Uh, you know, normally I would say it's okay, but you should have bought OGR. All right, two more screws here for the top mount. Gotta pop this up just a little bit, I think. Cool. So, Coop, while you were gone, we soldered, we tested that all of these switches work properly, that uh, we didn't forget how to solder, um, and then uh, I kind of went over some of the designs of the board, and here we are. Cool. Check it out. I think these switches look pretty good. Check out that uh, that cherry lip I was talking about right there. All right, cool. All right, on to the internals, which is where the fun is, right? The race to emulate Topra in MX is over. Just play Topra noises through the Zeus speaker, dude. Or we can make it make solenoid noises too. James is the best designer, agreed. So nice. Uh, what what color did you get? What colorway? Did you go the blue or the uh, the OG Dolch? Um, okay, so we do have this mid plate here. Check this out. This is like a, a stainless steel polished mid plate. Look at that. So Kuba has uh, kind of added these little extended cylinders here that make stacking super easy. All right, so that's just going to kind of pop like that. That's it, right? <laughs> All right, let's look at uh, what else we got in here. We have a kind of a stepped, um, almost like a, a bunch of ledges here, almost like a, a, a million Zon ledges, right? Let's take a look. Dolch, no brainer, nice. I got Dolch as well. Pretty cool. Uh, Koob, do you know the front height of this board? Like with and without the cherry lip? Not gonna lie, I forgot about the mid plate. I thought the Anna was just bad. Dude, the Anna on this thing is freaking legendary. Wonderful, Ryan. <laughs> Yo. Um, so we have the dice of Zeus always fall luckily. Nice. And we have a little uh, a eagle right there, it looks like. Is that an eagle? What is that? And then we have a Zeus in the top right there, right? Pretty cool. Um, as far as these internals, uh, we do have one, two, three daughter boards and a speaker, right? So we have three daughter boards and a speaker. Um, this is obviously going to be the traditional daughter board, just a USB-C daughter board. 
this daughter board is gonna have the two uh, USB ports as well as the headphone jack, right? That headphone jack is then gonna go over through these wires to, yep, you guessed it, a speaker. Then we also have the rotary knob uh, with this daughter board. So there, there's a ton going on here, right? Um, so what we're gonna do, I can't believe how many features are packed into this board. I know, right? <laughs> that is why it is called the, the board for the one percenters, right? I don't, I don't know how much more value you could possibly add on, in this board. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this here. And this one's gonna go, let's see. Yes, 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 encoder. I know how to read. Encoder is gonna go there. And then the daughter board is gonna go into this one. Let's see if I could do this without. <laughs> You could do it. You could do it. Ah, there we go. Cool. So the battery, I wasn't able to uh, to switch over these LEDs or the. Um... Should we try? Should I try it? I tried. I tried unplugging it. Basically, the battery we have that we're trying to use right now. Um, the wires are swapped on it. So I'm gonna have to, uh, if I if we were to use this, I would have to cut this JST off. I'd have to strip the wires and then I'd have to solder the wires onto the PCB. Should we do it? Do you have that much faith in me? I don't know how I am at stripping wires. What are we at? We're at three hours and 50. I, I think, I think Kube's worth it. All right, so what we're gonna do here, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to cut these off and solder it. One sec. have a wire stripper do i look like a freaking of course i do i got the milwaukee wire stripper uh you can kind of remove it from the crimp thing with tweezers no i was trying to earlier um i was trying to earlier with these tweezers let me try again worst case i'll try this so there, it's got these little prongs here that you're supposed to uh let me try Dude, they're like, they're in there good. I don't think so. Like these are not coming out. Let me try. Let me get a super thin. Uh, let me get a super thin um, flathead. Let me try that. Hang on.
I see what you mean. Lift that one. Okay, I see what you mean. I feel like I'm gonna stab myself, but it's fine. Hang on, we got one of them. We got one of them. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Heine? Tier one for 22 months. This board has speakers. Oh yes, it does. <laughs> Felt like an achievement when you did it. We, we, got, we got one wire out. We just gotta pop the other one out. I'm just trying not to stab myself with the tweezers. Boom. All right, we have, I'm not gonna say we've graduated yet, but I have done the deed. We have now swapped the cables. Booyakasha. All right. I deserve a drink after that one. Every time Heidi enters chat, I think about the Ibis L and it makes me sad. Dude. I would say don't worry about it, but um, I type on an Ibis every freaking day of my life at work and uh, it, it's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, kind of just get better at raffles, you know, like start, start, you know, reading up on statistics and, you know, card counting and maybe one of these days, you know, you, you, could, you could do better, you know, but that's kind of my, my, my take on it. Okay, Coop, let's see here now. Hear ye, hear ye. Let's see if that was the issue. Battery is now plugged in. So I think, do we just like kind of leave this, we just let this loose or should I, should I take the battery? What do you think? Lowell's good job. Yeah, let's go. Do I take the battery? You can tape it. I have been given permission to tape the battery. We are not tape modding. Don't do not get it twisted. <laughs> let's go. Let's go here. Yeah. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to tape over a flex cut. There we go. Cool. Oh, it sits in the bottom of the daughter board area. Okay, I gotta move that then. So it goes probably here. Here? Here. Probably here. All right, let's get her plugged in now. <gasps> All right, boom. Kuba, are you seriously saying Jaja? <laughs> the big Koob is here with us. He is indeed. Look at that. I know some Spanish. 
Welcome. Steel. Haha. <laughs> Welcome, bro. Thank you, bro. Alright. I think we have it all plugged in here. Boom. <laughs> Very beautiful. Wow. Muchas gracias. Mi amigo Kubacek. All right, uh, what else we got? Let's get these screws back in. <laughs> A perfect Spanish in the stream too. <laughs> you know, I, I took I took up to AP fat. I took AP four and AP five Spanish in high school. All right. I got a two on the AP test, <laughs> close enough. Yo, what's up investing? How's it going? We are, we are about to wrap, wrap up the build portion of this and then we get to get onto the fun part, which is the features. All right, so what I wanted to try out was, I want to try and see if we can, yo, Goob, with the five gifted tier one subs, dude, what a freaking legend, I appreciate you, thank you so much, <laughs> the five gifted tier one subs, I'll freaking drink to that. Donde esta la biblioteca? AP Spanish Pog, let me translate a little Don Quixote for you. <laughs> Yikes, dude. I, dude, dude, God, Don Quixote is a freaking massive ass book. Coob's with the gifted subs. Dude, Coob's too nice. He really is. All right. So we plugged it in. Now, I want to see if, if, if we did the battery correct. I mean, I know we did it correct, but I want to see if this battery works. This battery's been sitting for a bit. So let's check it out. Um, we do have, it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but with my new lighting, I'll show you guys the side profile. Let's see if this works. Oh, it's still too bright. Can you guys see that? It's, it's super subtle. It's super subtle. Turn this back on. Let me show you right here. So these LEDs are very subtle. And it's very classy. Yo, Slim Jim Skim Eater with the, dude, I, I'm still like babysitting this drink. Oh my God, I gotta get my new one. My Spanish teacher would always have at least two people speaking Spanish when they ate yesterday. We always, <laughs> yo, call me those tacos. I had two tacos yesterday. Wow. <laughs> Mr. Heine, I'm sorry. One of your PCBs right now. Gotta say it's quite the treat. Yo, let's go. Lowell's, how many of the gaff desk masks did you pick up? Dude, don't remind me. I was like, I was so busy with like everything else going on that I forgot to join the round two of the desk mat. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do because that's my favorite desk mat. Okay, how many did you pick up? I want to see, dude. Coop, bro, look it. Oh yeah, give me a high five. Give me, a, give me a high five. The battery works. Let's freaking go. Okay, I'm gonna charge it some more. I'm gonna charge it some more. I I'm pretty proud of myself right now. Um, we, we did that, we did that JST conversion quite, quite nicely. <laughs> GMK Yuru on this. Oh, Yuru would be sick too. That would be sick. Yo, that antenna is lit. <laughs> Yo, what's up General Mills? Would you maybe like a desk mat? <laughs> I would like a desk mat. 
Damn, when I joined, I thought to myself, Lul's probably picked up like 30. Dude, I should have. They're so expensive, though. They're so expensive, but it's it's worth it, in my opinion. Magnets, how do they work? Have you typed on a bias? So, um, I have. k 3 z had one of the original bias boards. Uh, I typed on that. Um, I am in the bias group buy. So whenever that comes in, I will build stream it as well. But I do remember really liking it. Yeah, no, nothing bad to say about it. I got one, I might have an extra one. Oh, snap. Yo, Big B Ben, slide into my DMs, you know what I'm saying? Bias is sick, yes. I got, um, I got black, I got black. All right. Uh, did you guys get in on the bias or what? I think this is gonna look super classy. I think this will look good. So I'm gonna leave it plugged in so the battery can charge a little bit. And then I'll show you guys the Bluetooth functionality. <sighs> yes, Bias GB is so damn fast. Yo, Che, did you get one? Uh, I still, I can't believe it didn't show the PCB when you plugged in the battery backwards. I know, right? <laughs> uh, I got silver, it looks pretty close. Nice. Ryan, hear me out. Imagine if the battery charged itself while you typed on this board. I mean, technically it does while it's plugged in, but that would be pretty cool. Like the faster you type, the quicker it charged. <laughs> Yo, this is gonna sound sick. I Honestly, if you guys don't buy the, the, the Gap Mochis after this at 30 cents a switch, I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna have to stock up. I got the black one, nice. I think this is gonna sound really good. Let's go Led Zepp. Ooh, Led Zepp would be good. It's a little bit orangey though. Led Zepp's like slightly orange. What's up, Teehee? Um, how do we feel about the mods? What do you guys wanna do with these mods? Should we use some red ones? Should we just use the black and the white? What do you think? We have like black arrows too. There's a lot there's a lot of options with this set. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna send you over an upcoming desk mat in the coming weeks. I'll hit you in the DMs when I get that ready. Yo, I'm down. I'm always I'm always down to check out new mats. I appreciate that, dude. Um uh, how does the rumble feedback vibration support work? So um as you type, it it vibrates essentially. So it's like a haptic feedback type deal. What is this set? Dude, this is uh, this is actually the set I'm gonna give away at the end of the stream. It's a nice PBD, a nice PBT Shinbun. Shinbun from Cannon Keys. Super nice, I like it a lot. <clears throat> Black and red, okay, okay. Are you gonna put ABS on this board after? Uh, I could. Let's see. Let's see how much time we got. We're, we we already hit four hours now. Sheesh. Sheesh. Uh, it's a feature on the non-Bluetooth PCBs. A little motor vibrates as you type. Boom. There you go. Set looks nice. Never seen it before, dude. It really. I think it's a classy set. It's a classy set. All right. Let's go. Let's go full out on this then, huh? That looks nice, never seen it before. It's on Canon Keys. Um, I, I don't know if it's still in stock. I think it is, um, but uh, it's nice PBT. So yeah, it's, it's quite it's quite high quality. I, I dig the nice PBT sets. They're, they're really good for the price. The prediction is hard. Let me guess. It's probably 122. Oh, damn. Wow. Look at that staggered. The, all the different options. Oh my God. That is hard. <laughs> 
predictions are mad hard now. <laughs> oh, ooh, that could have been bad. Uh, whoa, what the heck are these new predictions? I know, dude. John, is are you behind that or is that Raz? Really want to get this to try the vibration? Dude, it's pretty sick. The, um... The pearl board that I built um, a couple months ago, I built that with the haptic feedback. It's pretty fun. All right, home stretch. Anaconda don't want none unless you got shin boons, hoon. <laughs> Dude, I think this set looks super classy on this board. Thank you for the stream, man. Not going anywhere, just, just saying things. <laughs> yo, yo, right. I'm gonna let you finish, but I just want to say thanks, dude. I appreciate you, Cube. You got it, dude. You got it, dude. Bro, I am feeling this set. Yo, what's up, Hermiapa? should have chose a different set to give away and I probably should have kept this one because <laughs> this is sick did I say that out loud all right look at that the keycap color very nice like those Japanese new newspaper during World War II I, doesn't doesn't Shinbun mean news? Like this is actually meant to be after newspaper, isn't it? Or maybe I'm completely mistake, mistaken. Uh, the other proto sounded really deep. Let's hear this one. Ooh, interesting. Shinbun is newspaper. That's what I thought. Okay. All right. Let's clean up here. So I'm gonna put the feet on but I wanted to make sure that the battery is good first. So what we're gonna do here, before I do a typing test, I'm gonna unplug this. It's still on. Uh, Coob, I'm gonna go to Bluetooth, add Bluetooth device on my windows. Uh, we are gonna go to And now what was the, um, what was the, uh, it was, it was, was it escape F1? <gasps> escape F2, escape F1 and you Gucci. Do I, does it have to be plugged in or no? Escape F2, escape F1. All 
All right, so I'm trying to see if we can pair it here with my motherboard. Maybe it's got to be plugged in. It's got to be plugged in. Escape F2, Escape F1. See if it shows up on my phone. So if I hit add Bluetooth or other device, Bluetooth, escape uh, F2, escape F1. Still on, let's try it out. Also try escape F12 to toggle wired and wireless. Okay. Hmm. We got a Minecraft villager here. Who is that? Not seen it pop up. Strange. Escape F3 can't hurt either. <laughs> well, the LEDs are still on, which is good. That means the board is on. Ryan gonna connect his finance bro Bluetooth headset to this board. Oh, so he can make big and order Tesla calls lightning quick. Do I need to plug in the antenna? No, dude, I mean, my computer is like. A foot away right this brown is so nice i know right try your phone all right let's see oh okay so it's showing up on my phone as an other device, but when I click on it, it says pairing unsuccessful. Wait. It's trying to connect. Hold please. Yeah, it says pairing unsuccessful. Escape F1. Escape F1. Okay. How heavy? Dude, it is heavy. It's pretty heavy. Pairing unsuccessful. Let's try one more time. It's connected. Let me see something here. Mm. 
No, it's not. Oh! Look at. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, so it's working with the phone. It's working with the phone. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Okay, so should we try and should we try and uh, pair it? I don't know if I have the antenna, dude. Monkey type with your phone? Should I monkey type with my phone? <laughs> uh, I'll give you guys a quick look see here. Dude, that's sick looking. Look at this. The LEDs are still on because it's Bluetooth and there's a battery in there, right? So nice. All right, I'll give it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away. Nah. Six pounds, just over six pounds. Pretty hefty. Yo, what's up, Chew? Give it away, yikes. <laughs> it's a chonker. All right, um, so I think we're good to put, what do you think, Coop? Can we put the, uh, can we put the feet on? Are we good? We don't need to open it up again, or should we put, I don't think, mm. I don't think I see an antenna. Hmm. We good? Okay. All right, so we're gonna peel this. Oh my goodness gracious. That was perfect. Oh. I hate when the when the long feet like this are like too long or too short or they stretch. Let me get that over there. This is perfect. Wow. That was actually perfect. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this perfect Just falls right in. Oof! Oof! Let me clean that a little bit. Uh, is this is this PVD coop or is this just polished? Look at those feet. That's clean, dude. All right. It is Ryan DDS. Yo, nice, nice. Slick, no wonder it looks so good. Not time to show yours, wow. Man, the back uh, should have been a lightning bolt as well. That would have been pretty spicy, huh? I love the front lightning bolt. All right. So we're going to plug it in for the typing test. So to switch uh, back to wired mode, what was it again? Escape F12. Or was it? Uh, why not wireless timing test? I don't have. Um, I don't have. It's not connecting to my computer. I connected to my phone. 
But um, I think my computer might be... I don't have the antenna. Yeah. Hmm. How do we choo change this back again, Koob? So the escape. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay, we're back. Um, let me just double check something real quick. Oh, that's weird. Oh, my computer's doing that thing where it's like acting like shifts have being held down. It's acting like I'm having, what the heck? I think it's on another layer. I think I'm on the wrong layer. Do I have to hit escape F1 to get back to the main layer? Yeah, even scrolling, it won't let me scroll. I'll turn, I'll turn Bluetooth off on my phone, but I don't think it's connected to my phone anymore. Yeah, how do I get back to the uh, the main layer? Uh, I think usually for me too, that's usually what fixes it, but I think it's on a, actually a different layer right now. Because this, yeah. It's, maybe we do escape F12, escape F1, escape F12, escape F1. No, it's acting like I'm holding down shift. I almost just closed OBS. Um, I don't think it's the keyboard. Should I try a different keyboard? Let me see. I think maybe the layering messed up my computer, huh? No, dude, same thing again. I think it's, uh... Dude, it did. It's my computer. I happened to me when I was trying to flash the CL. It's acting like I'm holding down shift. Or it's on like a different, uh, oh my God, dude. Did you, did you freaking install a hack on my computer, bro? Had to reboot my PC. I, I know there's a way out of it though, but I forgot how. Let me go, I think it's, uh, how, do we, how do I click onto on-screen computer? I can't even freaking scroll. It won't even let me scroll. The Zeus virus. I actually can't use my keyboard. Devices. Uh... It's not letting me scroll. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> this is a problem. Uh, use on screen keyboard. Numlock and frickin' start are. It's acting like, like start is being held down, but it's not. And I can't get it off. No, the computer, all right, am I gonna do a freaking uh, typing test on my phone? Is that what's gonna happen? Are we gonna do a typing test on the phone? Control, alt, delete. 
does not even work. Does nothing. Ah, shoot. Oh, this is gonna bug me, dude. It, it like it, it it put my computer onto this weird layer and now I can't use my computer <sighs> hang on this is gonna bug me this might be the first time I had a fine keyboard but a broken computer and it won't let me do the typing test did you try turning it off and back on <laughs> if I restart my computer right now it'll work Dude, that's so frustrating. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can do a typing test on my phone. <laughs> Hang on, let me see. So there uh, we go. Wait, it was, so now it's in wireless mode again. there if I can't get it to work then I'll just uh... I'll just do an unplugged one I guess <sighs> gotta unpair it and then repair it phone and add again okay hang on all right I just hit forget this device this says connected bro now it's acting like my phone Bro, are you hacking me right now, dude? Okay. It was acting like my phone, I was holding something down. I'm not kidding. Okay, monkey type. Here we go. <laughs> wait, this is actually sicker than the computer. <laughs> wait, wait, is this gonna work? Dude, it's acting like my freaking phone. I'm holding something down. I'm not kidding. Look at this. Look at this. I can't, I can't even take it off lock screen. It's acting like it's touching something. Look, if I if I try and if I try and open up my Safari, wait. Okay, now it worked. Okay, now it's working. Maybe it's not even connected now. Now it's not connected. <laughs> Dude, what a trip.
Hang on. I, I, I'm going to spend exactly three more minutes on this because I want it to work. Hang on, hang on. No, dude, it's acting like I'm, look at this. It's acting like I'm holding something down. I don't get it. Look. I can't click on anything. <laughs> it's acting like I'm, I don't get it. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh... <laughs> Dude, that battery is way too low to give you anxiety. <laughs> no, it's not. It was working fine. It's just now it's like, uh... It's holding my device hostage, clearly. All right. <laughs> Should I try running Windows Troubleshooter? I'm turning my freaking Bluetooth off on my phone or on my computer. I've never seen that before. My computer's still broken. I don't even know if, let me see if I can even Can I even click on anything? I literally can't even click on anything on my computer. It's broken. All right. You could try turning the keyboard off and then under the space bar. It's okay. It's all right. I think we're just, we'll just do a typing test with it unplugged. It's fine. I, I didn't have the antenna. I'm sure the antenna is probably the issue. All right. It's uh no, it's not the keyboard anymore because obviously when I plug in my other keyboard, it does the same thing. So it's just it's got windows in this weird thing. I it's happened to me on like a couple other boards I built where it acts like I'm holding down shift or the windows key, but I'm not. So, anyways, obviously it's not uh, it's not going to show up on the screen. But, oh, we can't even, do the, the voting's not going to work either. Rip. All right. Well, I'll give you guys a quick typing test. Because I'm scared I'm going to click on something that's going to, oh, dude, I almost forgot to show you guys real quick here. What if the switch is bad? We also have the numpad. Uh, but if it's also doing on the phone, maybe it's because of a shorted something. But when I plug in my normal keyboard, my computer still doesn't work. My Another keyboard. That's the issue. Uh, wouldn't monkey type work on your phone? I tried. Why is it not working? There we go. Um, I tried, but it's, it's doing the same thing. Oof. All right. So we do have the Zeus pad as well. Take a look at this. Super crispy. Exact same, uh, side profile there and the exact same weight on the bottom. Pretty sick. Look at that. 
Looks like half nuke data. It's uh, that's what Nautilus nightmares, right? I wish this color was offered in the GB hottest Zeus ever. Dude, I love this color. I don't know what this is. It's not quite gold and it's not like yellow. I don't know what it is, but I love it. Laker yellow. All right, without further ado, I think what we're gonna do is at least I showed you guys I could pair it to the phone. <laughs> um, maybe if I had the antenna, it would have paired to my computer. Uh, but um, with that being said, I think we're going to do a typing test on the Zeus. Um, and then I can also plug, I'll plug this bad boy in real quick and show you guys. Let's see if this works. Okay. Dude, I can't even scroll. I, if I hit Windows and go to scroll, it doesn't even let me scroll. <laughs> I know someone's probably like, oh, that's an easy fix. Just hit this number. <laughs> this one also has the uh, the RGB there as well. Take a look. Although I feel like it's a little bit brighter on the numpad. I do not see no no flex on the numpad there. But it does play. Pause my music. All right. Okay. So we're going to do a typing test. It's not going to be plugged in. So we're not going to be able to bet on this one. My apologies. Um, but it's my computer is like, I can't even scroll on OBS right now for some reason. All right, so I'm gonna do, I'll type on it. Obviously it's not gonna show up, but I think you guys will get a good, a good gist of what it'll sound like, right? Pause the music. Um, so this is the, uh, the Zeus TKL. We do have Gateron Mochis, which are the KS3 recolors. Uh, we have an FR4 plate and we have um, Shinbun, a nice PBT set, right? All right, here we go. There it is. Did he re-aim the mic or not? Uh, no, usually, usually, I mean, like, listen, right? right. That was easily 125, give me my points. Yo, dude, it's a very deep, thocky sounding board. Dude, it sounds very interesting. It's super solid. Wild sound, honestly, yo. Let me do that. Firm or flexy? Wow. Oh my. Dude, look at this alpha row. Can you guys see that? That's crazy. Super flexy. But 
oddly, it, it doesn't feel too flexy when I'm typing it on it. That's why I'm so surprised. It doesn't feel super flexy, but when I push hard, it's like massively flexy. That's super, that's so interesting. Try the speaker out. Let me, let me s Hold on. Wait, I have a question. If I plug in my phone to the speaker? No, I'll try my computer. Uh... Let's see if this will reach. Okay, I'm gonna have to put it over here. Can you guys still hear me fine? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna plug in this is the, uh, the, the headphone. Uh, actually, let's grab. All right, so I just unplugged this from my speaker. And we're gonna plug this in. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> Can you hear that coming from the speaker? hear it now that's kind of insane <laughs> I remember uh, so when I was on the phone when I was on a discord call uh, that that jack is for output not input I'm so confused how it's working wait what <laughs> Wait, so Oh, uh, I see what you're saying. So you're saying that I can plug the keyboard into the computer and then plug um a speaker into the keyboard. So how is it working then? <laughs> That's <laughs> Well, apparently it works both ways. <laughs> so, um, but what was funny when, when I was, when I was on a discord call with Coop when he was trying to troubleshoot this with me to get it all, all functioning proper, um, the disc, whenever I plugged it in, instead of the discord coming through my speakers, it would come from the keyboard. So I would like talk to him to the keyboard. <laughs> all right, dude, this keyboard is getting way too smart. <laughs> Zeus is actually but yo. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see if I can. Well, I guess my speakers are unplugged now. Um, uh, shoot. So, dude, am I even going to be able to do? Oh, my God. I don't even know if I. Okay. Let 
Let me see if I can do so. I'm using my mouse because I can't type. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. <laughs> can someone type in Koob's name? Oh wait, no, I think I got it. No, I don't. Someone type in Koob's name, please. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Siwar? This board got hidden, hidden potential feature. I know, right? Or maybe I could do it in here. It's cube. No, I can't. Shit. There we go. Thank you, Hermie. Okay. Keyword. Paste. Cool. Um, is the Cloudline Proto still planned? It is. I am just waiting on a PCB at the moment. Yo, what's up, Os the Osin? How's it going, bud? Tier 1 for 12 months. All right, I'm gonna do the giveaway. So this key, uh, we're gonna be doing, oh, we're gonna do the giveaway and then we are going to uh, to all get some sleep, huh? We're at five hours now, oh my God. All right, so we are giving away a Shinboon tonight from Cannon Keys, shout out to Cannon Keys for that. Damn bro, you just sent me a PCB, I'm using it to build right now. <laughs> I know, dude. I uh, I didn't want to solder the JST. <laughs> uh, all right. Keyword is going to be... I can't type it, but it's Kubacek. <laughs> uh, but if I can somehow get a... Um, a, uh, a... I just tried to take it off another... I didn't have one, so I just tried to take it off another board. Melt to the JST. Yeah, see, that's why I didn't try. <laughs> um, all right, the keyword for the giveaway is Kubacek. Um, like I said, if you're in the US, I got you covered. I'll ship it to you my expense. If you're outside the US, all I ask is that you cover uh, shipping, right? So um, once again, shout out to Kub for sending over this board. Um, obviously, it's freaking jam-packed with features, not to mention um, this color is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I'll give you guys one more quick look here while we're waiting. And um, as far as uh, Kube has said, there's no definitive uh, GB date for this yet. Uh, but definitely join his Discord uh, if you want to kind of stay up to date on it. Right. Um, also, I, I do think this is also worth mentioning that uh, obviously if you if you travel like with an iPad or you carry an iPad around, you could also Bluetooth this to uh, to your iPad to type on. So that's that's pretty cool. Right. Is it more yellow than beige? No, nah, I'd say it's more beige. I would say it's a more beige keycap set. Right. Uh, leaf now nah, we'll do leaf a different day. I think thanks Raz. I Think we're, we're pushing the limit here with five hours All right, I am going to attempt to roll it here Yo reverie keys, let's go bud. Do you uh, do you accept the giveaway? It's so awkward stream without music, but I don't know how to turn the, I have to plug my speaker back in <laughs> I do accept. Nice. Yo, congrats, dude. Um, anyways, shout out to Kube. Um, I, I, I totally appreciate it. And please join his Discord um, if you want to stay up to date um, on the Zeus here. I know he's made even a ton of changes since this prototype uh, that I have. So he's always he's always up to something. Um, but uh, is there anyone to raid tonight? I can't even, I don't, I can't even look at my Twitch. <laughs> I feel so helpless right now. <laughs> maybe uh, someone could pick, or maybe we could, uh, if there is someone to raid, let me know. <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. So much fun. Haven't stopped laughing tonight. Yo, dude, it's always a pleasure having you in chat, bro. You know that. Uh, let's do CG Blend. I haven't, I think I raided him a while, a while ago. Great stream. Yo, hopefully you guys all appreciated it. Um, my next stream is going to be probably going to be on like Monday or Tuesday. And I'm going to try and get K3Z to come on for the Avia, right? Uh, 
<laughs> go get some sleep. Oh, I am. Tomorrow's Friday, so hopefully you guys all have uh, a fantastic Friday uh, tomorrow and uh, and a good weekend as well. Thanks for this. Yo, what's up, Ruminative? Good night, everyone. Anyways, good night, all. Thank you for sticking around for this late. Uh, and uh, Raz, freaking take him away.